Okay. There we go. We're starting the recording. Um, so today we're going to be going into face rigging, um, which will be the final stage of the rigging process, and then hopefully by next week we'll be able to start animation. Um, so, with that said, let's get started. Um, the first thing I like to do when working with the face is getting the, uh, the, the jaw in place, and then we can um, work on like getting some subcontrols in there, and then we'll get into working on the eye uh, and eyebrows. And, uh, and that'll be it. And we'll keep this fairly simple. I'm not going to over bloat this with extra stuff we don't necessarily need. Um, and I'll get into like other stuff we could possibly add if you wanted to in the future. All right, so for the jaw control, what I am going to do is first I'm going to, uh, sorry, first what I got to do is hide the hair because the hair is very distracting. Um, so let's, let's get into there and hide that. Boom. All right. Um, and then what I need to do is place the, the jawbone. Now the jawbone goes a little bit in front of the bottom of the ear. Um, so the ear is around here. So it'd be around here. Uh, this isn't a human ear either. So it's a little bit strangely shaped. So I, I might have to take some liberties, but it's around there. All right. Um, so I'm going to click there and then I'm going to hit shift click out straight. And then I'm going to position this one on the chin because I can use this as a chin control later. You notice that I'm moving this and not rotating it. Um, I used to have this match the angle of the jaw, but um, you get cleaner rotations this way if you keep it uh, its own object. Or sorry, if you keep it uh, in kind of like a linear uh, orientation. Okay, so that is the jawbone, which is very, very straightforward. Um, and we have that. I'm not going to attach it to the skeleton just yet, because this way I can hide the skeleton without hiding the, the face controls. As long as the head's not moving around, this will work fairly well. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy, make sure that all our transforms are frozen. We're going to name it bip one jaw And this is going to be the chin. Okay, I'm going to save that. Um, okay, now we're going to go click, shift click, uh, rigging, skin, edit influences, add influence, like so. Um, and just for the sake of uh, testing, I'm going to hit shift E, and then we're going to give it a little bit of a rotation outwards, shift E. And then we're going to have it, um, if I click this in the middle mouse over here, I get the initial position. Then I can just move it up a little bit. Um, I want to make sure that I can have it open and close uh, for testing purposes. Just, to, just enough so that I can get, get the ball rolling, right? Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate just this. And we're going to just start painting in the, the weights for the jaw. Right? Uh, all right. So this, for this, I, I like to use the, uh, the, the paint weights tool. Oops. Wrong. Um, oh boy. What am I doing? <laughs> um. Uh oh. <laughs> I've completely forgotten how to change the scale of the brush. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Jeez. I don't know why I couldn't remember that for some reason. <laughs> Ever have those moments and you just forget something completely random? Uh, there's no reason why I would have forgotten that. I just used this yesterday. Anyway, make sure that this is value of one. We're just going to start painting this in. And I'm going to just get a, a nice 100% weight on the main portion of the head. I'm not going to worry too much about the, the, the other side. I will put a little bit so that it's not distracting. Um, but I'm not, I'm of course going to be mirroring it over. So if it's not perfect on one side, it's not a big deal. Oops. I made a mistake. Shoot. Um, damn it. Okay. 
Ah, oh, shoot. That's bad. Okay, hold on. I might have to restart. I forgot to um, walk the weights of the head bone before painting the weights. That's a mistake. Because um, now the, the jaw weights are all jacked up, right? It's supposed to be nice and smooth, but now it is, it is no longer. <laughs> it is no longer nice and smooth. I, I broke it. Okay, we're going we're gonna to start this over. Sorry about that. Hold on just a second. It'll be very quick. Okay, great. I saved this a moment before. So that's good. Um, okay. All right. We didn't lose much. <laughs> we didn't really lose anything, actually, um, other than painting the weights and keying this attribute, um, which is really not a big deal. Right Thank you for bearing with me and my 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 mistakes. All right, so we're gonna go skin, edit influences, add influence, um, and we're gonna go into the paint weights. Cool. And this time we're gonna make sure that everything is locked. We don't want to accidentally ruin the weights that we've already done before. Um, the only thing that should be unlocked is the head joint because we're gonna be um, taking some away for the jaw. We'll unlock the jaw too. Uh, now we can go back to what we were doing. <laughs> uh, yes. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Yeah? That's between you and me. Okay, now we're, now we're ticking. Right? Okay, now if I click off and on again, you can see that uh, the neck influence is still there. Great. Yeah. And I might move this joint around once I, I see it moving. Uh, so that's another, another thing to keep in mind too. I should probably test that sooner than later. I just want to get to the center line here, and then uh, then we can smooth some stuff out. I don't want to take too long on this. Um, ooh, it's perfect. Ah, absolutely perfect. I see no problem with the weights. Nope, none. Not -uh. ah. Ship it. <laughs> okay, well, welcome in. There's Polly's indeed. Uh, you're 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 pretty much on time. We started about fifteen minutes ago. You didn't miss much. We just started, we just placed the jawbone and we're just painting the weights for that now. Yep, yep. All right, so let's see. That's pretty decent. Um, we're gonna obviously have to fix the the weights here. We can see how it's like a very 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 sudden uh, drop off, but that's okay. Um, what matters right now 
is that the jaw opens and can close, and when it closes, how does she look when her mouth is closed? I think that the, hmm, does the pivot need to move? No. I think she just has a little bit of an underbite, but I think that's okay. Um, obviously the weights are wrong, which is why it's all crumpled there. I'm more worried about the position of the chin, right? Um, I don't care about the deformations anywhere just yet. Okay. Um, Mari, hey, uh, I'm working on the face rig for, for this model right now. How are you doing? The top of her head scares me? Yeah. She's been scalped. Ugh. But if you're interested in, in learning uh, more, Amari, uh, you can go here. I've been recording the whole process of, um, of creating this character. Um, and we've gone all the way through from design to modeling to texturing and now rigging. Um, and next week we'll be uh, covering animation. Um, okay. Hey, pause. welcome in. All right, I'll smooth it out a little bit more. I think this, I think this will be fine. This will be fine. It'll be fine. We're good. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. It is fine. So now I'm going to use a smooth brush, and we're going to just smooth out the uh, the the solid white that we've uh, done, right? And we'll just smooth that out. Test that out. I probably went too far. Uh, Oh, no, that's fine. Okay, I just want to make sure that the, the head isn't, you know, caving in. Um, I'm curious how much of the head weight I can actually all right, I'm probably going to switch out a smooth and I'm just going to kind of forcefully add a little bit more here because it needs it. Uh, sometimes the smooth just doesn't, you know, doesn't quite smooth how you want. Um, and you kind of just got to be like, yeah, this is, you're, you're adding more weight here, whether you like it or not. Uh, out of all your software repertoire, what is your, which one is your favorite? Um, ZBrush is my favorite. And then I'd probably say Clip, um, and then Unity. I like Marvelous, even though it's uh, the one I use less. Yeah, that makes sense. Marvelous is fun. I like Marvelous. But I'll be honest, it's definitely not like high tier for me. <laughs> it's not like one of my, my more preferred softwares because like, it's so limited in, in what it does for me. And I don't really feel accomplished using it either. It, I don't know, it just feels really automated. Deep is just getting it. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look here. I'm going to actually uh, go into my component editor and have a look at this particular vert. Okay, that's what I thought. So it only has the jaw and, and neck, but it still needs more. So I'm gonna remove a little bit of the neck there and hope, hope it looks okay. Um, but it, it needs it, right? Yeah. 
Make sure that there's no head influence there either, I think. On either of these as well. Okay. Um, I think I might add a little bit of the head influence on here specifically because uh, it's not um, it's not a nice blend. Okay, so on these guys, I'll probably add like a point one or something. Nope, that's too much. Just a little bit. There we go. That should look a little nicer. Okay. So not the most ideal, but it'll do. Then uh, Maya, then Marmoset, then Substance School. There's so much uh, you can do in, in ZBrush that's insane, yeah. This is fun to use, right? Okay, so now I'm going to do um, is see this this edge here. This is in the center point of the uh, the mouth, right? So it needs 0.5 weight of the head and jaw influence on this particular corner, and then we're going to just slowly blend out outwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the value to 0.5. We're going to set this to replace, and we're just going to draw in uh, 0.5 here. It's important that we're in replace and not add because if you hit the same vert twice accidentally, it will, um, it will just become one, right? Because it adds. I, I want to get rid of those verts that run away. Um, back to 0.5, and we continue along this uh, edge here. There. Great. Um, and then we're going to kind of fade outwards uh, along this lip here. Uh, so now it's going to be. I'm going to say like 0.45. These ones are going to be pretty close to 0.5 because they're, they're in the corner of the mouth. And I like to keep a little bit of a point there. Uh, and I might play around with these values a little bit once I've uh, got something in place. Hey, Talbot, welcome in. How are you doing? All right, and we're going to do the same thing on the head on the lower part. So we're going to just blend that out. We're just going to go all the way down. Uh, have you played in Guilty Gear? Yeah, I love Guilty Gear. <laughs> that's, that's one of my favorite fighters. Um, I'd say it's, uh, it's, a, it's I'm, I'm torn between that and Street Fighter as my favorite fighter games. Um, Street Fighter always like will hold kind of like a special place in my heart because it's the first fighting game I really got into. Um, but um, I love Guilty Gear. Have you had time to play it? I played a little bit last week, but not as much time as I would like. Um, I want to play more. Maybe I'll play some today. That is too much. Hmm. All right, well, we'll just we'll just add that back to the head. I try to avoid using the undo tool when I'm painting weights with the paint weight tool. Like I said in the last stream, the paint weights tool can be a little bit finicky sometimes, uh, and not yeah, it can be a little bit rough. <laughs> um, and I think I've actually added too much weight here as well. But we'll see once we've uh, blended out the rest of it. This is supposed to, this is 0.45. Um, so this is, I would say like, I was gonna do 0.4, but I don't think that was right, right? Uh, that was, I don't know. You know, I'm not really giving it enough ch chance. I should really just kind of blend it. I'm pretty sure I had just used 0.4 and now I'm doing it again after I'm doing it, but you know how it goes. This is how it be. This is how it be. I cannot beat Talvin. 
No, Taladin, Taladin would destroy me in, in Guilty Gear. Although I do gotta play with you at some point though, if you want. <laughs> So three, two, one. Yeah, something like that. Please do, sounds good. You were saying you had it on PS4 and PC, right? Or did you just have it on PC? I think I remember saying, hearing, you, uh, hearing you say you had it on both. <sighs> Finish Zelda and Master Guilty Gear? I don't think streaming Guilty Gear is a good idea. I think it's a very bad idea. But I definitely want to play more for sure. I know that I'll never be good at fighting games though, because my hand eye coordination is kind of weak. Um, sorry, not hand eye coordination, my reaction time is weak. Um, and it always has been. Uh, <laughs> under the art category, I don't know, I feel like I'd get even more hate if I did that. Don't you think? Oh, I can't remember what weight this was. Okay, I've already done point 0.2, which means the next one is point 0.1. I mean, one has to lose something to win more, right? Yeah. But I don't have to do that live. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so we're almost done painting the uh, the weights on the uh, the head here, or not the head, the jaw. And once you get like a a basic um, position, we'll we'll be pretty good to go. Um, I do want to fix this little kink here in the lip. I don't know why it, it's there. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um. But I'll probably just play around with these a little bit more specifically. So I think that what needs to happen is this needs to be more uh, weighted to the jaw. That is too much. Um, oops. <laughs> what am I doing? There you go. Just a little bit. Uh, Lothar Knight, hey. Um, Month ago, month just begun. So guess what? Uh, you'll have to tell me. <laughs> Payday. Uh, finally had the pleasure to work on my character a bit uh, yesterday. Felt refreshing. Nice. Yeah. Feel free to share. Ah, you are subbed. I see the sub badge appeared. Thank you very much for that sub. I don't know why there's no notification. Thank you very much, though. That's weird. Why is there no notification? Yeah. 
It's payday? Nice. Gotta love payday. Really appreciate that, friend. Alright. <laughs> the teeth. <laughs> okay. Um, another thing we want to do is now we want to get the teeth on the jaw. Um, skin unbind skin. Woo! There it is. <laughs> There's the notification. Thank you very much for subscribing, my friend. Thank you so much. There we go. Her mouth opens now. Cool, cool, cool. So now that we have a mouth opening, I can mirror this weight over. Oh, you could probably smooth it out a little bit more. Keep up the good work. Uh, love it as always. So oh, thank you so much. Now I'm just going to smooth out everything here, make sure that it's not, you know, not overly uh, sharp, right? And probably smooth out this area as well. I'm going to the jaw here and we'll just smooth that out. Boom. Cool. Maybe I'll go up one more. And I think I actually don't want to have any influence on the ear at all, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, make sure that that's gone. Yeah, perfect. I'll test it out. Pop, 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 pop. And just for the sake of uh, you know more refined texting, we'll face that out a little bit. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> that she looks like the mummy. Ah, of course your jaw will never open up that far, right? So, yeah. don't the other side. I just have the mirror. It's not a big deal. Okay, so that is the first and e most easy step to <laughs> making the face. Um, so the next step here is we're gonna mirror it over. Uh, skin mirror skin weights. And we're going to make sure that we have um, labels the first, but as a backup, because these are not labeled, is closest joint. I remember, uh, like I said last time, I use label if there's a, if there's a joint that's overlapping another joint. Um, we're not going to, I don't think we're going to have that issue uh, today, um, but we had that issue on the elbow joints, right? So that's just something to keep in mind. The elbow and knee joints, I should say. Um, there might be some overlapping on the eye. Yes, no, we will have that issue on the eye because there's the upper lid and lower lid that got to be labeled. So that that will come up. Um, but for now, we're just going to mirror this. Uh, like so, and we'll just test this out, and it should look dandy. Look how dandy that looks. I I gotta fix. Uh, I do have to fix this. You can see how the, the jaw is just vanishing. Um, so it's going to have to happen here is that the head is going to have to be fully influenced there. Um, yeah. Okay. So we're just going to make sure that there's 100% weight of the head here. Oh, even then, even then the jaw disappears, eh? Um, which means that the mouth pocket was too small. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to adjust that, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that's what we're going to have to do. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So we can move this after it's, it's skinned, um, but at the very end, we're going to want to... 
We're gonna be want to be careful about this because it's gonna cause some weird deformations. But sometimes I, I have to. Sometimes I end up having to do this, right? Um, and it's fine. Um, you'll probably get some people who are gonna be like, "Don't ever do this," um, but it'll work. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm only moving around the uh, the head hurts. I'll just get this into a, a place that's decent. Um, I should have checked this a little bit closer before rigging, um, but I didn't, and that was a mistake. So, you know what? <laughs> it's fine. Mistakes happen. I just want to make sure that it's wide enough to incorporate all the teeth. Okay. A little bit tricky to see in here. That's all right. We will figure it out. Okay. Let's pull that down. I want to give it like a good amount of room, uh, so that way when things deform, it it doesn't clip. All right. Oh, and also when you're doing this, make sure that no deformations are applied. That's important. Um, so you'll notice that I, I'm at the zero position, right? Uh, because I keyed the jaw earlier. Um, you don't want to be editing this when it's in a deformed position. Because then you're going to have some problems. Okay, so this should be better now. Yeah, well, it's pretty decent, except for that middle part. Okay. There's one vert in the middle here that is not quite where I want it to be. I can see it. It's a bit lower. We're just going to rise that up. We're going to rise up. <laughs> oh, still. All right. All right. There's another vert here. Okay, yeah, it's, it's you. It's not me, it's you. <laughs> um, have you read any good books lately? Um, I haven't read anything in a while, aside from comics. How about you? I don't like reading. Why do you ask? <laughs> the only thing I like uh, reading is Twitch chat. Well, there you go. I do like reading. It's just um, the time to sit down and read is not there. I'm just making conversation, I see. We're getting there. It doesn't look like it, but we're getting there. Um, so now is when things get a little bit more interesting. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to save this as a new file. Um, so it's going to be 13 and we're working on uh, jaw sub. Right. Interesting, you say. 
Interesting, you say. We're going to create the sub controls on the face now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, this mode here. We're going to create one joint at the um, just anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, we're going to create a joint, and we're just going to pop it in place. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do is now we're going to create a bunch of joints around the mouth. Oh, you want the you want the blop? <laughs> you want her to blop? I don't think it, that's going to be later, Cable. Once we have more controls, then we can do that. But we can't do that just yet. Hold on, wait a little longer. Um. Okay. So. Uh. So we got the uh, mouth control here, and we're going to duplicate that. Um. It's up to you on how many joints around you want to go. Um, so on a, on a more refined rig, um, I would normally do something like this, where I have um, two in the middle, the corner, and the center. Um, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm actually going to just remove one. I'm, I'm going to keep this simpler, because I, I don't want to be spending so much time uh, skin waiting. right? Um, this will reduce the amount of um, mobility that the mouth has, but um, for our purposes, this will do just fine. We're not doing any like uh, detailed lip syncs or anything. Um, in fact, you probably aren't even going to be doing any real facial animation other than like a slight expression. Um, and I just want to save time. But just to know, like you could add as many of these as you wanted um, along the mouth, and it would be the same process. But I'm keeping this simple. Okay. Um, so we're going to duplicate that. Um, I'm going to put that on the lower lip and then put one in the middle as well. All right. Um, now, that being said, um, I want to make sure that they line up uh, on the same vert count. So we got one, two, three between. One, two, three. That means I got to move this guy one more over to about here. Um, and then um, I want to also make sure that they are in the same edge that goes around. Um, so these all match up. I don't know what edge you're sitting on. Uh, you're good. Okay, great. And then once I've picked all of those and they're on the edge that I want, I'll sink them in a little bit into the lip, just a little bit. Um, just push them back. But I know what, that, what edge they're influencing. And then uh, we can uh, add them in as necessary. Um, we're going to add a couple more here uh, for the cheek. So we're going to put one here um, and put one up here. And we're going to put one down here. Um, I'm going to put this here because I want these to have an edge that kind of matches up on all of them. And then what we have to do is we're going to have uh, a joint here. Uh, on the smile line, or like, you know, like when you when you smile, you get that little crease um, around your mouth, right? Um, that's gonna be here, um, and then a frown one. So basically, I have three that go along the uh, this, this kind of smile line area. Right? Um, I'm not gonna deal with nose controls um, for us today. But if you want to do a nose control, it's not hard. You just add a joint and then add some skin weights to it. Not a big deal. Um, okay. Will she be able to express all the pain and suffering we feel every day with all those joints? Uh, pretty close. I think we, we could probably express that pain. Um, I'm just worried about like the mouth position because I have removed one of the joints. Um, so we, we can't, we're limited on like what mouth shapes you can get with this many joints. But if you know, if we added extra ones, eh. I mean, we have most of them there, so it should be okay. Um, so that's the lip corner, uh, lip upper. 
Okay. This is lip upper C. This is lip lower. This is lip lower C. And this is cheek O1. Or just cheek. And then the next one's cheek one. Cheek one. Cheek two. And this is smile two. Or smile one, I should say. Oops. What did I just paste? I pasted something. Hold on a second, let me hide my screen. <laughs> what did I just paste? Okay, it erred out. So it didn't actually paste anything. All right, I'm just checking my my log. <laughs> I don't I don't want to accidentally throw extra junk in there. I didn't paste anything. It erred. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't think there's anything on the clipboard for it to paste. Oh, it just duplicated the same joint. That's what happened. Instead of pasting, it just duplicated. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> this is our frown. All right. Um, accidentally pasted the entire map uh, of the game at S6. Oh, God. I couldn't possibly do that because I don't open any of the environment stuff, so. Um, okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a control for each of those. Um, I'm going to do one and then I'm going to use my tool to do the other ones because otherwise it's just going to be a big pain in the butt. Okay. Um, and I've shown you how to do this before, but I will show it again. Um, because, uh, yeah, uh, repetition is helpful. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a group on this, this control. Actually, I'm going to duplicate the first and then we're going to group it. Um, and we're going to move it, uh, to the position of a joint. Let's do it on the lip. Sure, why not? Okay. Um, right, so we're just gonna make sure that this lines up with this. Boom. Um, obviously this control is too big. Um, so we're gonna hit F8. Gonna select all those verts. Make sure that we're not in symmetry mode. Off. I'm just gonna scale that down to a more reasonable size. I'd say that's about a good size. Um, okay, there we go. I'm gonna make sure that, uh, it, I'm also gonna duplicate this for my tool to use on the other ones. Um, but we're gonna name this. So this is going to be, uh, oh, what the, that's not named properly. All right. Okay, now we're gonna take this, and we're gonna call this uh, CN underscore that. And then this is the adjust group, ADJ underscore, uh, and actually, I'm going to need two adjust groups. Um, so actually, this one's going to be the ADJ, and the other one's going to be offset. Um, how did you make the cube? I explained it. it I explained how to make the the cube um, last, not last stream, but the stream before. So if you go two videos back, we I covered how to make this cube. Um, and now I'm just duplicating it and reusing it because. It doesn't make sense to make it over and over again, right? Um, okay, and then I'm gonna change the color of it to green um, because it's in the center. 
Um, so we're going to go to, whoops, I did not want to take that out of the shelf. Go back. Oh no. Oh no, it won't go back. Oh no. Maya, why? Why are you doing this to me? Okay. Oh no. It's permanently undocked? Oh, there we go. Jesus. Jesus, Maya. Why? Um. Makes sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, hey. Uh, is this what I think it is? It is face rig. And yes, it is Maya. <laughs> uh, I'm here to tell you you're dope and keep doing what you do. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. How are you doing? Smart reuse? Yeah, yeah. That fear? Yeah. It's like, oh god, can I never fix this? <laughs> Is it gonna be like this forever? Oh. Okay, anyway. Let's get into that shape. And we're going to do component display, object display. Uh, drawing overrides, enable overrides, and we're going to make it green, um, like so. It is green now. Feels Maya, man. Living watching anatomy tutorials? Nice, I gotta do that. I gotta do that too. Thus face every time you click something he didn't want to click? Yeah. Um, okay, great. So that's essentially how you'd create one control. Right? And then you take this and you go click this and you go constrain parent, constrain parent, boom. Um, and that's how that works, okay? And this gives you control over these, um, well, yeah, it gives you control over those. Now give me one second, one second, guys. Thanks for that. All right. Anyway, um, okay. So now what I got to do um, is we're going to have to create. Um, so again, I'm going to show this on one of these, and then I'm going to automate the rest of them because uh, it's it'll it would take too long for me to just show, right? Uh, so now what I do is I create a, um, a locator, and I make sure that I place this at uh, at the correct position. So I've just parented it, uh, I just got to parent it under here, and then I can zero out the, uh, the transforms and the locators there, all right? Um, this mesh is amazing. Is uh, this part of a personal game or anything? No, this is a, I've been creating this for a workshop. Um, if you're interested, go here. Um, and this is, I've been going through the whole process of creating a character from design, modeling, rigging. Uh, next week will be animation, and then after that we'll be throwing it into Unity. Uh, am I uh, losing it, or are both her eyebrows hidden? They're, yeah, I hid, I hid the hair um, because it was distracting for placing the, uh, the joints. Um, so we're going to do locator. Uh, locator, dipo on upper C. This is going to be underscore head. We're going to have a double for the jaw. And we'll, we'll, you'll find out why very shortly, OK? Um, and I'm gonna have to do this for every single joint. But uh, because we're gonna be automating this, it'll be a little bit easier. Um, okay, so we've created one, and I'm just gonna use my tools to create the other ones because I don't wanna have to do that 100 times. <laughs> um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna select all of the joints, like so. Uh, this is a parent constraint, right? Yeah, good. We're going to select our cube, and then we're going to do stop tools, parent, create. Great. OK, so it's created all my controls. Um, and then i got to create uh, locators. Uh, 
uh, for each of these. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're going to create a locator at selection. There's all our locators. Um, no, just for the sake of consistency, I'm just going to do this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do here is um, we're going to add the suffix. Um, I also have a tool for renaming. There's some free ones online you can get for renaming, um, but I'm just going to I'm just going to add the suffix of. Um, I guess I can just show you my tool. It doesn't really matter. Uh, of head, add suffix. I'm going to create a double of this, and then I'm going to rename everything from head one to jaw, like so. Um, place cool. Uh, so now we have two locators um, for every single controller. Um, I'm also going to recolor these controllers. Ooh, wait, I made a mistake, guys. Um, not a big mistake. It's not a big mistake. I do just need to make uh, joints for the other side as well. Uh, so it's not really a mistake. I just missed a step. Uh, and we're just going to have to... Uh... <laughs> this is going to be painful. Not super painful, but painful. We're going to have to duplicate each one and then just... Uh... I'm going to select everything that's on the L side and we're just going to duplicate them. The reason I'm not using the mirror joints tool is because it's going to reorient the joints and I don't want it to do that in this case. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is going to get messy before it gets clean. <laughs> just a heads up. Right. Uh, so this is going to go uh, negative. Negative x mod. Unfortunately, I didn't have time this week to um, to get ahead of this, so I have to do all of it on stream, unfortunately. Uh, and I'm sorry about that. If I had time, I would have like uh, placed all these joints out uh, so that you didn't have to watch me like mirror everything over to the other side, you know. Uh, and then we're going to just go in here and we're going to replace everything that is L1 with R. Uh, and again, although I'm using tools for these, you can do it manually. You can find other tools that do this for renaming. Um, I'm just trying to save time so that you're not watching things forever, right? But you don't need the tools. I showed you how to do it without the tools for that one. You just have to do the same thing on all of them, right? Which is not ideal, but it's just kind of how it goes. Uh, and that means I'm going to have to create more controls here. Uh, I'm going to just create those. Uh, all right. And then the same thing, we're going to have to create locators. I'm going to save this now because I don't want to do this again. Uh, we're going to create locators for all of them. And then we're going to add the suffix. And we're going to duplicate these. Okay. Um, and now we're going to have to go through all of these controls. Like so. Isolate, select them. Um, we're going to make sure that we don't have any uh, attributes that we don't need. So we're going to get rid of these guys. Um, lock and hide selection. No, we need those though. Uh, and we're going to make sure that... Uh, oops, I, I'm missing a control here. Uh, show isolate select add selected. Yeah. Um, this guy also needs that to be hidden. Lock and hide selected. Oh, I also got to make the offset node for all of these. I will do that momentarily. Uh, not to worry. Um, so these are going to be all red, and these are going to be all blue. Consistency on what color is on what side. This will also be green. Yeah. Um, great. Okay, so now what we have to do is another little bit of a painful process. Not super painful, but a little bit. 
um, is we're gonna have to go through each of these <laughs> locators and parent and yeah, parent constraint them to each of the uh, controls. Um, I said that right, right? Locators are parent constraining the controls. Um, okay, so I have to create also a, an offset, uh, an additional adjustment node. Okay, so we can see that all of these have uh, an offset now. Um, just to clean some stuff up, uh, well, it'll be fine. Um, okay, and we're also going to have to create a control for the jaw now. Um, so I'm going to remove all the, the keys here. All right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a control curve for the jaw. Um, what can, this is a small cube? Yeah. That's a big cube, and then I have a circle. Okay, great. And this is oriented properly? I hope so. Where is it? Oh, 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 that's what it is. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to rotate this in the Y. Oh, right. I don't, this is a messy control. It's got extra stuff in it. That was when I was showing you how to create that extra node at the top there. Um, but we're going to just rotate this in the X so that it's facing the X axis. The reason for that is because the joint is oriented so that it goes down the X axis. Right. Hey, Scotty Canyon, how are you doing? Um, and we're going to just make sure that it is in the correct position. So we're going to position this now. Uh, I'm going to show that. Okay. Um, and now that we have this, we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're going to just rotate it, whatever. We're just going to scale it up so that we can see it. Good working on magic spells today. Nice. That sounds fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. I wish I was working on magic spells. But no, I gotta rig a face. Yeah. Okay. Um. Great, I'm just gonna freeze transforms on that. And we're gonna create a, um, we're gonna create an adjust node on that as well, right? Or if I, because it's parented under the joint, if I just group it, it's gonna group at the right position, which is wonderful. I'm gonna group it again, um, just in case. So this is gonna be cn underscore bit 01 jaw. Right, and this is our adjust node. Um, and it's going to have an offset node as well. We won't need it right away, but it is something that we'll need in the future. So, well, we could need I don't think we'll actually need it for what we're doing, but in the future, that is good to have. Um, okay, so we have that now. Uh, and now what I have to do is we're going to have to do the painful process of selecting every single locator and constraining it. Okay. Um, so what we do here is lip corner, um, head and jaw. Let me select, uh, oh boy. Okay, lip corner L. Hmm, is there a faster way to do this? No. I, I was saying like you could just like drag select these, but then they might uh, get selected in, the, in a different order than what I want, and the order matters. Well, does it though? I suppose not. You know what? No, it doesn't matter all that much. Let's hide the mesh. Okay, so we're just going to go through this way. So we're going to select these guys, and then we're going to select the lip corner. We're going to go constraint parent and we're going to just do this for all of them all right uh, so this is lip upper l 
then hit G, it'll just repeat the, uh, the um, orientation constraint. Um, and this is going to be lower G. Right. Uh, next one is lower C. Okay. Uh, and then we got our cheek control. So we'll do that for the cheek. G. Um, and then we got cheek one. Okay. And then we got cheek two. Smile one. Smile. Okay, brown. All right, lip corner. Uh, yeah, yeah, lip corner R. And then lip upper R, lip lower R. Let me make sure, yeah, okay. I just wanna make sure that both of those are getting selected. Lower R, okay. And then we got our cheek again. Cheek one, cheek two. Ooh, someone's being loud outside. Smile one, smile. Uh, ground control. And the jaw is separate, okay? Uh, jaw I'm also gonna make yellow, I guess. Why not, we'll make it yellow. Um, great, so we have that now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to group all of the locators that are related to the head together, right? So we're going to take all these head controls, locators, sorry. Um, okay, that's all of them. We'll group them. And then it's going to be gr head locks. And we're going to hide them. We don't need to see them anymore. We're going to do the same thing for the jaw. Okay. Then we're going to group that. Uh -huh. gr jaw locks. We're going to hide those two. And we're going to save now. Okay. The head locators are going to go underneath the head control, parent it, and the jaw locks are going to go under the jaw control, and we're going to hide it, parent, like so. Now what we'll notice is when we move the jaw, oh, I didn't make one for the upper lip. Fortunately, that doesn't move with the jaw, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, it doesn't need one, but we didn't make one. But that's okay, it's fine. Um, so now when I move the jaw, all these controls are going to follow 50% only, right? So they're going to stay partially connected to the head. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to show the mesh again. Um, show the mesh. Hey, Sympathy, how are you doing? Oh yeah, I also got to make sure that this control is uh, constraining the jaw. Constrain parent. There we go. And we'll see that the controls are now following 50%, which is great. But we don't want all of them to follow 50%. Um, what we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna have to go through each of these constraints that we've created, right? Um, these are gonna be the same. So select both of them, then hit up twice. And we can see our, our, um, our constraint here. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna reduce the influence from the jaw. So we're gonna say 0.2. Oh, I was hoping it would apply to both, but clearly it didn't. So that sucks. We're going to have to do that twice. Um, but what we're going to want to do is make sure that when we, oh, when the jaw moves, that they follow along. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to zero out the jaw again. And we're going to hit uh, Shift E and then Shift E uh, to open the jaw up. That way we can kind of see what's going on. This is so cool. Thanks. I'm, I've been uh, doing a workshop on my channel, Sympathy, where I'm teaching the process of creating a character, um, the whole pipeline. So we designed this character in the first stream, then we modeled it, then we textured it, um, now we're rigging it, and then we're going to be doing animation um, and then uh, implementation into Unity uh, in the, the following weeks.
Uh, if you're interested in seeing that, I have the VODs up here. Hey, Becca, how are you doing? Okay. So the, uh, there we go. So now we can kind of see that this one, um, we want to make sure that, that that joint stays relatively the same according to that vertice, right? Um, so what we can do here is, um, it doesn't have to be perfect either, but it, you want to get it as close as possible. Right? So maybe it's 0.25. That seems about right. Um, do the same thing on this one. 0.25. Um, and then the bottom one, this is going to be 100% jaw for sure. Um, so we're just going to remove the head influence on that one. Um, I just realized that I can't move my upper jaw. That's right, I cannot. Makes my life easier. Um, okay, so then this one, we wanna have more jaw influence, less head influence. So we're gonna reduce the head influence to be probably about the same as before. So 0 0.35, I don't know if that's enough. No, it's not. So maybe we'll just reduce it to 0.25, okay. That well, looks pretty good. Um, we'll reduce that one as well. And there we go. Um, this one is 50%, and that one seems to be good where it is. Uh, these guys, I, the cheek ones, I don't think are moving at all. So those ones don't need to move at all. So these are easy. Uh, so we're going to remove all the jaw inputs. I didn't even need to create locators for these. So you could, you could be smarter than I was doing as well, right? Where you're just like, I know that these aren't going to move. Um, so I'm not going to add any control to uh, any locators. I know you would save a little bit of time. Um, I was not, unfortunately. Um, but you could be smarter than me. All right, there we go. Uh, all right, so those don't move. The frown one... What's that one looking like? The frown, I think, is fully uh, jaw influence. Uh, so I'm going to remove the head influence on that. Yeah. Um, and this isn't necessarily always the case either, right? Like sometimes you'll have a little bit of influence on the head around here, right? And if that was the case, then maybe, um, then maybe you, you'd, uh, you know, you wouldn't do 100%, right? So like, don't. Don't just use the values that I have. Make sure that you're testing it and then seeing how much value you need to put on. Um, hey, Gray. I see you lurking there with your little, your little derpy face. <laughs> I love that lurk mode. It's so good. It's so good. Um, do you need uh, to rig faces for all characters or just some how Unity can apply them all to the humanoid models? You got to rig all the faces. If you're going to have... Like, you're going to have to give them a skeleton, right? Um, and Humanoid does not support any, any form of face rig. Yeah, so, yeah, Humanoid does not support any face rig. The only thing that it's going to support is the eyes, and it's just the, the eyeball. It doesn't even support the eyelids. So, that's just how it is. So 0.9, mm, 0.8, no, <laughs> 0. 0.6, ah, 0. 0.4, okay, how dare you mock me, all right, okay, that's a little bit too much, so maybe 0. 0.25, let's try that, hmm. I think that bird is moving more than I would like it to anyway, so I'm actually going to reduce this to maybe 0.2. Oh, sorry, 0.3. Reduce it to a higher number. That's right. You heard it here first, folks. I'm reducing it to a higher number. All right, and then head is 0.4. Okay, great. So now we have all the controls that are following along and doing as we like. Oh, except for you. How dare you disobey me. How dare you? All right. Yeah, and those, those don't move either. I kind of want them to move a little bit. I'm going to give them a little bit of, of movement, just a slight bit. 
I don't like that they're completely static. Okay. Great. No base rigging for me then? Um, the wonders of bringing a character to life. She's making this face. Uh, a little bit. A little bit of that face. He's got a bit of a fish mouth. I'll admit, or whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we 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 we've done it. We've placed those controls now. They work. Um, and that's great. So we're gonna save this and we're gonna create um a new file because I am paranoid, <laughs> and I don't want to break things. Now it's done. No, now you gotta weight the joints to the head. Fun, right? Fun. It's so much fun, guys. I love it. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go click. Actually, the jaw's already influenced. And so we're gonna skin. Add it influences. Add influences. Oh lord, here we go. With all respect to any riggers in chat, but fuck this, I'm gonna work at my McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the worst. This isn't fun, but it has to happen. If you wanna make, if you wanna have some facial animation, you gotta do it. <laughs> fuck this, boys, I'm out. <laughs> That was cool as hell, man. Thank you. Um, okay, so we're gonna. So the first thing I want to do is okay. So this is gonna look worse before it looks better. Um, what I'll usually do is I'll duplicate the mesh in its uh, in this kind of pose state as a <laughs> not like that. Um, in this kind of pose state, so that I can uh, have it as a reference. I'll put it in a layer just for now, um, and, and put it in transparency mode just so I know where the verts were, right? Um, but this is going to look a lot worse before it looks better. So what I want to do is make sure that there is no longer any face influence in this area or head influence, like influence from the head joint in these areas. So we're going to have to go in and we're going to paint all of the weights. Um, so we're going to go, okay, so cheek one, um, we're going to paint in, we're going to make sure that all these face controls are unlocked by the way. Uh, I could just select them all. And unlock them. Whoa, bits. Um, white vault, of course. Of course it's vault. <laughs> Don't mind my simping from my lurking. <laughs> Enjoy that lurk, my friend. Thank you so much for the bits. I really appreciate that. Um, and you got your face work doing this? Got, what do you mean your face work? Tech art is art too, but it's not fun. Um... That's why there's folks uh, for this type of work. Oh, 100%, yeah. Vault is the best. Everyone should go support Vault. Um, I'm going to shut him out. White Vault's great. Another streamer creating a, a number of games. Um, currently mostly working on Captain Carrot and um, the General General. Uh, and you should check it out. His, his, his art's great. His games are great. Great dude. Really nice. Um, you should go hang out. Um, okay, so let's, let's, let's get back to weight painting this here. It's very good. Okay. So again, this is going to look worse before it looks better. You'll see, like, now I have a, a solid weight to each of these joints, which isn't the prettiest. Um, but that's fine because we're gonna we're gonna clean it up and make it nice, right? Oh <laughs> I just realized I waited it to the freaking lip joint. I'm a fool. I didn't even select the right joint. Uh it's fine. 
It's fine. We're good. No worries. We're good. Yep. Definitely did not, did not screw that up. Definitely not. I would never. No. Okay. It's fine. That didn't, that didn't happen. I did not, I did not skin it to the wrong joint. No. No, definitely not. Not me. No. No. Um, okay. It's not fine. It is fine. I just unpainted it. Um, fantastic game names. Oh yeah, Vault knows how to name a game. That's for sure. All right, I'm gonna check on the uh, head influence here, and you can see like I'm slowly painting out all the head influence in this area. So this should all look black, um, and just be uh, jaw influence and lip influence. Um, Yeah, so this is going to be interesting. Interesting, interesting, you know? Weight painting? Yeah! We're doing it. I also realized I, I'm actually supposed to paint out the lips first, but I got ahead of myself and started doing the cheek. Hmm. I think I'm going to get onto the lip here, and then we'll go, we'll go and revisit this after. Okay? Um, so lip corner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 100% weight this. I probably don't need to go that deep into the mouth for the lip, but that's okay. Um, okay, so we're going to make sure that we have painted this out entirely. Is Vault waifu, waifu material? Science says yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. And if you don't mind, guys, once I have the uh, the mouth in place, um, I am going to go grab myself some tea. Okay. I hope I can get the whole face done today. I don't even know if I can. <laughs> it's a lot of bloody work, you know? It's a lot of bloody work. Oh yeah, you guys can't hear the music. <laughs> Sorry. I wish I could play it, but I don't want to get freaking... I don't want this getting taken down off of YouTube. I forgot you guys can't hear it. God damn it. Um, confirmed by God stuff. <laughs> no cable, it's not. <laughs> That's funny though. Um, okay, so, and again, remember I said this is going to look worse before it looks better? <laughs> look at all this mess, right? So the first thing that I'm trying to do here is I'm, I'm painting in, um, I want to make sure that this, this, this ring, this loop around the mouth is fully influenced by only the lip controllers, right? Um, so I'm, I'm just painting in 100% weight. Uh, and making sure that there's a, a uh, that I've painted out everything, and then I can smooth them out afterwards. Um, so now we're going to do lower C. I did it again. I keep humming the music and you guys can't hear it. I gotta stop that. I can't help it, it's so good. 
Um, okay, so now, um, Woof Raid. Uh, Nymph. Nymph Sart, thank you for raiding. Thank you very much. How was your stream? I hope you had a, a good time. What were you up to? Okay. So now I'm going to just check this. Um, where is the head joint? Uh, so first I got to hide the uh, clavicles or collapse them so I can get to the head joint. Um, great. So there's no head joint influence. Uh, there is a little bit here, which I'm not particularly fond of. But that's okay. We can get rid of that later. Uh, and then the jaw influence. Um, is all gone as well on the lip specifically. Today we are doing a workshop on rigging, yeah. Super Belly Jelly, hello. I'm just going over the process for creating a face rig. Um, and next week we'll be covering animation, which will be the fun part. <laughs> I wanted to do that this week. I was actually contemplating whether I was going to do a, um, a, like a, a session on, on face rigging. Because it's so painful, but I couldn't, I just couldn't let it die. I couldn't say no. I should have said no. But here we are. Um, I'm a fool. I'm a fool, but that's okay. Um, I do want to make sure that, see how I've, I've added influence on these controls, but not on the other ones? See how like there's one loop that just doesn't go all the way around? I want to make sure that it does, so I'm going to fix that. Uh, so we can see here that I'm just going to make sure that this also is influenced there. Um, and with upper, boom. Okay. Ah, oh, I, I went too far on one. Uh, let's just get that head influence back in on there. Yeah, there. Hello, Nymphs. How's, uh, how's your stream? Lower C, like so. And now, and now, now if we check it, I don't know why I clicked out of that. Um, we got a nice clear loop of the mouth control. Um, and we gotta go in here and um, I'm gonna hide joints. So show joints off. Uh, and the reason I'm not using my layer for this is because the joints are not parented under the skeleton right now. A great project on my sculpt today. Nice. You want to share with us? Unfortunately, I can't share it on screen right now because I'm I'm recording for uh, for YouTube. But I will have a look at it and I can show after the recording is done. Um, but I'd love to see. Uh, okay. So now what I'm going to do? Uh, lower L. Um, so now what I have to do is, is figure out how much uh, I want to influence between these. Um, so I'm thinking that this is going to have 0.5 here and then 0 0.2, 0 0.8 on the other ones, and that'll give me a nice blend. Um, when I first did face rigs, I would do like a linear blend between the two joints. So see how there's three edges between this joint and this joint? I would do, um, I just divide by three, so it'd be, or divide by four, because there's four edges in between, right? So it'd be 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0. Uh, and then one. Um, influence, so basically uh, full influence on this joint and then it would fade off to the other one. I don't like doing a linear anymore and the reason for that is because when you do linear you get like this kind of jagged shaped mouth where it just has like a straight line between each of the um, loops. Um, but if I blend it with like a, 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 um, like if I have more influence on each of these joints around you don't get these kind of like sharp corners like you see here, right? Um, so I, I try to blend it a little bit better now. Um, so we're going to use replace again, and we're going to switch this to point five. Um, and we're going to do um, B. Yeah. Uh, and now we're going to just paint in a uh, in between, and we're going to make this look nice. Okay. We're going to make this look all purdy. Uh, and then we're going to do a point two influence. Uh, and we'll, we'll play around with these values too. They don't like if they don't look good. We can mess around with it. 
Just send the link here, yeah. Hmm. Will this be okay? I think it's I think it's not quite enough, but we'll see, we'll see. Um with lower L. Okay. Yeah, so like this one has a little bit too much influence maybe. I could probably, what I should probably do is in, actually make this go a little bit lower, I think. I think that this should have a little bit more influence from the jaw. Um, something like that, maybe. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. Oh, is this the sculpt you were working on? Nice. Well, that's really good. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm going to give you a follow. All right. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start influencing here. Uh, so I'm going to do replace, and this is going to be 0 0.8. Yeah, of course. Keep up the good work. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Again, I might need to have a little bit more influence from the jaw on that particular controller. But it doesn't seem to be going low enough, you see? And that's okay. All right, so what I want to do now instead is um, We'll, we'll test this joint out a little bit. So it, the deformations look pretty nice, but I think I think that it, again, it's like it's just too much here, right? And then this is hmm. I think I might add a little bit more influence to this bottom lip control uh, instead, which is sometimes that I'll do for the center point. Is I'll add a little bit more um, to the uh, the center lip controls, the lip lower C. It does, it does create some forms of limitations as well. Uh, and it becomes more difficult the fewer controllers you have, right? If I had more controllers, I probably should have just added more controllers, but whatever. Um, it's okay. Because, uh, yeah, like if I rotate and stuff, it's nice. But I want it to look good when I'm just linearly interpolating as well. So what I'm going to do instead is I'll add a little bit more control to the center here. Oops. Um, that's wrong. <laughs> there. And this is going to be point six, uh, point seven. That's better. 
And that's why it's also nice to have the reference of the original skin weight too, so you can kind of see what position it was in and what looks nice. Hmm. All right. No, it's pretty decent. I might add a little bit more um, here. This has like that kind of kink that I don't like now, which is not great. Um, but we'll work out. We'll work it out. Okay. So what I want to do here is I want to probably add a little bit more weight back in. I'm going to bring this back to 0.8. And instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the other way around and remove weight from the uh, lip corner a little bit. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to maybe like 0.6 or something. And what I'm just trying to do is I'm trying to get a nicer curve here um, between these two shapes, which isn't happening. <laughs> It's not happening, which is unfortunate, but also not terrible. I think I'm going to put it back to 0.5. Yeah, not perfect, but I think it'll look okay. Hmm. I need you to make sound effects as you move the mouth around for a more immersive experience, like a that kind of thing. Um, Hey Sodor, how are you doing? <laughs> Please don't answer more of this. <laughs> Good to have you. You're going alright, you're going alright. We're, we're chipping through this. More Wawa. <laughs> All right, so lip upper L. Do you look good too? Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you all are enjoying watching this. Enjoying watching me suffer. <laughs> Dance, monkey. Dance for my entertainment. That's, that's all of you guys. Just, just watch me dance here. <laughs> All right, so that should be okay. And this is going to be point two. The upper lip is looking nicer than the lower lip. The lower lip could use a little bit of work, I think, but it ain't too bad. <laughs> Dance robot. That's right. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be point 0.8. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> I can already feel it. I'm going to make it point 0.6. Like I did for the lower lip. Okay. 
Okay. And this is gonna be uh point three maybe. And then point two or point one or point oh five. Uh, point one. There we go. And we're going to just hide that other thing that we added. Uh, this one. All right. That's pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for the animated emotes. That's that's a fun one. <laughs> uh, oh boy, this looks like uh, it'll be a process. Oh yeah, and we're we're doing it. But check it out, we got we got mouth controls now. Woo! I gotta blend it with the rest of the face, but woo! Yay! We're getting there. Um, so the next things that we're gonna have to do is the cheek controls, and then we're gonna do the eyebrow, and then we'll do the eye, and then hopefully be done. Hopefully. I don't know if I'm going to get to auto eyelids. We'll see. I don't think I'm going to get to auto eyelids if I'm perfectly honest. Um, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to... Uh, now we're going to add the influence from the other stuff. And then we're going to blend it all together. Also I'm going to save because... I don't want to lose everything in a ball of fire. That would be terrible. Start over, you fool. No. No. Not like this. No. Okay. Then we got our prime controller. All right. So now, if I check the jaw, oh, we got a little bit here. I got to get rid of. I just, oh, and I didn't paint that cheek there either. Okay. Uh, so cheek two. There. That'll do. Um, and we want to make sure that we get rid of the influence that I believe is here. Um, I will say that it's incredibly helpful to see all this in real time. Uh, like the details, good. I'm glad. Got to head out. I need to get breakfast. Gonna go to a French bakery. Oh man, that sounds wonderful. Enjoy that. Enjoy that bakery. Thanks for hanging out, Sympathy, and I hope you, uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. I'm going to check all these controls and make sure that they're influencing what they're supposed to be influencing, because you never know. French Bakery, bring me a croissant! Oh, oh, oh. Je veux la croissant! S'il vous plaît, donne-moi la croissant! Is it le croissant? I always forget. I'm. I always forget like whether which one's feminine, and which one's masculine. I think it's le. I think it's le. It's probably the. Yeah, it's bleu. It is bleu croissant. 
Croissant. I, I, was, I couldn't remember if croissant was a masculine or feminine word. Um, but clearly it's a masculine word. Family, c'est masculin. Um, my thumbnail is Pog? Oh, <laughs> because it's it's like this. So she's pogging. That's funny. <laughs> oh, very good. So you can see now I'm actually blending these together. I also forgot to check if the jaw was. Uh, it's not. That's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my my tool here to make sure that this does not have. This is. Yeah. Right. Okay. And now we blend. Now we blend. Oh wait, I gotta make sure I don't have any vert selected because if I have vert selected, I can't paint on what I want. It's an endless struggle. Right, anyway, so now what we do is just smooth out all these controls. Now I'm wondering guys, riddle me this. Do you think it's worthwhile to show how to add the, the eyebrow controls. Because the eyebrow controls are added the, the same way that I'm doing this right now. And I was thinking of just jumping onto the eye, because that would be more beneficial. Um, and then if there's time at the end, we can touch up the eyebrow. But if you guys really want to see how to do the eyebrows, I can. Just wondering if you if you feel like that's worth uh, worth seeing. I say just jump the eye if it's the same. Yeah. Basically, it's the same thing. You just create three joints for the eyebrow, and then you weight paint it. I can maybe like show how to create the controls, but just not bother with the weight painting for this particular part. I'm definitely not going to add a nose control. That's um, that's outside of what we need. I'll add ear controls, but I'll probably do that off stream because uh, it's not really necessary to show that either. Where's the head joint? Clavicle, head joint. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna do the smile ones. Um, that was a mistake. Shit, I hope I'm doing this will be okay. Alright, now we're just going to smooth these out now. Okay. And then with lower. I'm very, very, very excited to get this rig done. Because uh, then we can actually do stuff that's more fun. 
And we're, we're pretty close to being all done, done with this now. We've, we've come a long way. Um, but there's very little that's uh, left to be done. I accidentally added weight there, so I'm just going to remove it. There we go. Um, after this, uh, we only have two stages left, which is animation and uh, unity. So there's probably only going to be two more weeks left of the workshop, and then we're going to be completely done. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? After all this time. All these months. <laughs> Man, I can't believe it's been months since we started this. It takes a long time. It takes a very, very long time. I think there's 12 videos up, so yeah, it's been about three months that we've been doing this. Um, but it goes to show you how much work is involved, right? Uh, in creating a character, and I think that's, that's beneficial in itself. Now if anyone uh, is saying, can you make a character for 10 bucks, I can point them to this video series and say, well, it takes a bit of time. <laughs> I want this to have a little bit more influence to the head. Um, yeah. And we can test out all these little controls now and see how they're, uh, uh, I, could, I could blend this a little bit better. So at this stage, what I tend to do is I tend to pull out a couple of these controllers and just blend them uh, and then just see like where, they, where their influence stops. And we can start blending them in a little bit more, right? Uh, so this is Smile 2 controller. Uh, or Smile 1, I guess. Where is it? There it is. Let's blend this out a little bit more. That's a pretty intense bog. That's right. How are you doing, Shiny? Welcome in, my friend. Okay, so I think I want to add a little bit more influence here. Still trying to wake up? Still. It's almost noon. Freaking night owls. <laughs> All right. I went to uh, bed at 4 a.m. Why? <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> I think I went to bed at 1. Yeah, I went to bed at 1. And then also woke up at 8. Uh, I was watching a friend roleplay in a special Grand Theft Auto server. That's funny. She's been trying to get... Uh, to get in for weeks. And what she just she just got in like right before, like at that late or was she in it for a while and you just wanted to keep going? <laughs> I'm also working on the commission. Oh yeah, you're in, you're insanely huge commission. <laughs> How's that going? He's got super lucky, got it. Okay. 
And another thing too is once you start animating your character, um, you'll probably notice that the weights aren't perfect either, and you'll probably want to make adjustments once you started testing stuff out. Um, but in in the end, like you just um, you do what you can with what you got, right? And um, and you gotta you gotta you know start somewhere. So I, I'm I'm sure I'm sure that when uh, when I'm done this, the, the weights are still not going to be perfect. Um, just keep that in mind if you're if you're following along and you're like my weights aren't right, and it's as well. You just gotta kind of blend them out a little bit more and, and try to like finesse them into being what you want, right? Um, and making sure that they can hit everything that you need them to hit. Uh, so we're gonna blend this out now. And I think this is probably enough for our purposes, right? I don't want to like go any. I don't. I don't want to go too crazy because I want to make sure that. Um, uh, you you see the whole like actual rigging process. Skinning is is like this is this, this is this is skinning, right? This is what you're gonna be doing the whole time. So this is essentially it, right? Um, maybe you want to check these guys because this is gonna be for like smiling. So basically, you know, and your the kind of muscles in your face go up when you smile. And they kind of go like that. Um, that's that's essentially what these controls are for. Um, so I, I'm just testing them moving up a little bit. I, I, you'll notice that I'm really staying away from the eyelids because I don't I don't want to touch the eyelids with these controls. If I do, it's gonna be it's just gonna make my life painful. Um, so I think this will do. And. Uh, Realistically, on a face, like they're not going to move out that far either, right? They're just going to move a little bit up and down, right? So there's an, I'm I'm using a, I'm putting a lot more movement than you'd actually see in these controls, right? Um, so even if they look a little bit weird, it's because like I'm I'm really pushing things, um, just to like get the full extent of what uh, what can happen. I'm also noticing now that my topology probably could have been spaced better. You can see how like this is a very long polygon and this is very tight. That's a mistake on my part. Um, oh, never mind. It's a waiting issue. I didn't make a mistake. They're even. <laughs> like, wait, no, the jaw is open. No, no, we're good. I did not make a mistake. Not this time anyway. This need to be a little bit spaced, waiting a little bit more um it's going pretty good i've got uh two characters left and 10 animations <laughs> oh no i just built a client for the animations nice i've got until the ninth that's only six days away the dreaded rating process always uh, that people always talk about. Yeah, uh, it's taken up three streams to rig this. Three streams, almost a month of streaming for rigging alone. That's intense, yeah, man. And even that isn't like, and even that is kind of like creating a very simple rig, right? This isn't the complex rig at all. This is a beginner level rig. <laughs> so imagine, right? And that's another like one of those like misconceptions, right? Like where it's just like these things take time and people don't realize that. But anyway, so this is done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get some tea. Um... And then I'm going to come back and we're going to rig the eye, okay? And then after that, if there's time, we'll do the eyebrow. Hey, Kras, how are you doing? Sorry, I'm just, I'm just going to be gone for two minutes to grab some tea, and I'll be right back, all right? But we're just rigging this face up, um, and I think we're pretty good. So the next stage will be the eye, and uh, uh, yeah, so give me one minute.
All right, we're back. You know what? I didn't want to put the time to making the font bigger. You get the point. It's fine if it's a small font. Just get over it. <laughs> it's the default size. How dare you? All right. <laughs> I got my tea now. All right, so let's uh, let's bring up an eye. Let's do it. Um, so we're gonna save this as a new file. Um, so first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mirror the weights that we have. Oh shoot, hold on. Before we make the eye, um, there's one other thing I wanna do, okay? Um, and that is uh, to create a sync control. Um, so the sync control, and this is why we have um, the two adjust node groups. Um, so what we're going to do is this, all right? Um, this is this is actually very important, and this is actually a good good thing to teach. We're gonna hide these controls that we don't need. Okay. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna create a control um, that is a square control. Um, so if we want to create a square control, we're just gonna go into uh, grid mode. Oops. Um, here, like this. Okay. Uh, and then this is going to be have a circle control in there. I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees. Also, welcome in, Zerlith. I think you just came in, right? Yeah, I yeah. am. How are you doing? And welcome, welcome in, Krasa. How, how are you doing today? I didn't ask because I kind of vanished right when you came in. Um, what's a good size for this? 0.4? That's a good size. We're going to freeze transforms. All right. And this is going to be uh, CN BIP01 sync. And this is going to be CN BIP01 sync frame. Howdy, howdy. Okay, and now we're gonna group these. What's in this group? Mesh main, oh, right. Um, okay, and uh, all right, the sync frame, sync. Uh, Yeah, and then we're going to just create an adjust group, adj underscore. This is our sync controller. We're going to just throw you up here. Um, it's very tiny. Don't worry, we will fix. Um, it's very important that we scale up the adjust group and not this, because this is going to be a value of 0 to 1 or negative 1 to 1. Um, so if I had scaled it up, I would no longer have that value. So that's why it is that way. Um, I'm also actually going to make this a little bit, um, a bit smaller. I'm going to get rid of this transform geometry group. Uh, hmm. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to make it a little smaller. Fine. It doesn't have to be precise. And this is a bit big, so I'm going to make it maybe four. There we go. Um, so now what's going to happen is when we control this, it's going to control the jaw. And there's a important reason for that um, and we'll get to that history history All right and we're gonna make this controller yeah, I don't know neon blue um, and then this one the frame here um, I'm going to change to stencil mode uh, oops uh, attribute editor uh, display uh, template mode and the reason we want it to be template mode is so that we don't accidentally select the frame when we're trying to select the controller. Um, so that's what that is. And 
And then what we're going to do is create a um, uh, boom, a limit information on this. And we want to make sure that the translation limit stays between negative 1 and 1 in, uh, in both of these axes. And then we go here, and we're going to make sure that we lock everything except for the translate x and y. And the reason for that is so that it stays within this box and it doesn't go forward or back, right? Um, and we don't rotate it. We're basically locking everything we don't need. Yeah. Um, so we can save that now. Okay. And now what we have to do is. Um, Okay. Uh, what I like to do is I like to create a, an offset on the uh, on the jaw, um, and this offset, and this is a, a good reason why to have you have an extra um, uh, an extra group on the jaw. Is um, oh, actually I kind of want to create another one. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Because uh, this is going to be my main offset. Yeah, I have to create another adjust group actually. Um, so this is going to be anchor. And when I have my my general hierarchy, you can use whatever convention you want, but it's normally like this. It goes um, adjust is the lowest, then it goes offset, and then anchor is the highest. Okay. Okay, great. And the reason I want to have this adjust is because I want to add um, just a little minor offset like this. Um. And I just want to make sure that I, I give it an amount that, that closes the mouth. Because you don't want to, like, every time you animate it, you don't want it to go in and, like, close the mouth every time you're animating. That's just a pain in the ass. I will open it up again um, once, I, um, once I get this done. Because I need it to be, uh, I need it to be open for rigging and whatnot. But uh, it, this, for this particular feature, I need it to be uh, closed. Um, so the first thing that we do is the up and down control affects the jaw, okay? So we're gonna have to go in, we're gonna do the uh, animation key editor. So Windows, um, or, hmm, where is it again? Uh, I, I made a script that does this automatically. So I, again, um, I, I always forget where the things originally were. Um, bum, 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 bum. Where are you? Uh, do I have to be in animation mode? Yeah. <laughs> Set driven key. There it is. Okay. So we're going to use this little editor. All right. And we're going to load this as our driver. And in this case, the driven is the jaw. And it's going to be not the adjust because that's where we added our offset. It's going to be the offset control here. I should have probably put the offset in the offset control. <laughs> I'm going to change that. Yeah, the offset control should have our offset because that makes more sense. Uh, and this one should be our free, our free to free to animate adjust node. Um, so this is gonna be our driven, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna key. Uh, in this case, it's the Z rotation. Um, so Z and then uh, translate Y, and we're gonna key that. So when this is at zero, the jaw is at zero. All right, um, and then. We're going to open up the, oh, sorry. Now we're going to pull this down. And this is going to be the lowest part for the jaw, at least for this control, at least. Um, I said at least twice. <laughs> uh, for this particular control, it's only going to go down a certain amount. I'm going to say like negative 15 or something. Yeah, negative 15 or maybe negative 20. I want to make sure that the uh, animator, in this case me, has the control that they desire. That I desire. This didn't mirror over. I thought not. Why didn't it mirror? Did I not mirror this at the beginning? Did I not actually end up hitting mirror? I'm a fool. We'll mirror it. <laughs> well, let me just key this and I'll mirror that right away. Um, so now this is at the bottom and we have this posed uh, in the adjust group. We're going to key it again. There we go. So now when I move this up and down, it's going to control the jaw. All right. Um, and I'm going to put this back to zero. 
and I'm going to open up. So because I have this offset, I'm actually going to put a negative four in here, and I'm actually going to break these uh, connections too. Break connections, uh, and negative four. And that was just the uh, the animation that I had put in there. And the reason why I want to put an offset in this control is so that I just don't forget what the offset I had was. Um, and so when I'm ready to export for animation, I just zero that out and we're good to go, right? Um, but uh, we're gonna mirror the uh, the face verts. I can't believe I didn't actually mirror it. Oh. There. Uh, I can't believe I didn't actually hit the button. I even selected the verts. You could see that they were selected. Um, that's funny. Okay. Anyway. Um, there. I'm gonna hide this too, just so we can see what we're doing. And. Um, what else did I want to do? I'm going to put this back to zero. Oh, yeah. um, so now what I want to do is when this goes all the way up, just like pinch it a little bit. So it looks like the, the lips are squishing a little bit. It gives you like a little bit of a, just a nice little bit of a, a I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a nice control to have. Maybe not that much. Just a little bit. Um, and then we're going to key that as well. Okay. So now, when we move this around, the uh, we can uh, get the mouth to go, right? Okay. So that's one thing. Uh, would uh, one be able to tell if a rig was made in Maya versus Blender? Um, well, they would only open in each software, so yes. Uh, Angry Teapot, hey. All right, so now what we're going to do is um, we're going to add the uh, uh, basically a a pinch and widening of the mouth. Um, so this this is where things get a little bit more finicky. Well, not super finicky. There's just more controls we got to deal with now, uh, which is less fun. Oh, hold on, I got to freaking lock this. There we go. Kept selecting those bloody verts or the mesh, sorry, and. That's just a pain in the butt now, isn't it? All right. So these are all the controls I'm going to need for uh, for this particular controller. Okay. Now we're going to just add all the adjusts here to our driven, and we're going to select them all. And their default translate and rotate will be driven by the X translation, and we're going to key that. Okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move all of these out, and this is where this is again. I have a script now to automate this, but we have to manually position both sides of the face, um, and it's going to be hard to make sure that they're the same on both sides. You know. But we do what we can, right? And this is where you're going to start noticing whether the skin weights are, you know, messed up or not, right? When you start getting, trying to get very specific poses. I haven't uh, seen you in a while. Yeah, how are you? How are you doing? Uh, rigs are uh, only uh, open in your respective home software. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not even between Autodesk software. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, they're 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 locked. Yeah, there's no way of getting these controls out. It's unfortunate, but that's just how it be, right? I'm not gonna pull it back quite that far. I finished a pretty complex character for the first time, making another one. Nice. Do you want to share with us? Uh, yeah, you can post a link if you want to share it. I can't put it on screen right now because I am recording this for YouTube, but um, I'd, I'd, I'd love to see it. Uh, 
Um, no matter the software, uh, game engine can accept rigs uh, and use them for animation. Well, no, the thing is like skeletons can go between any, any software. The controls can't. Um, so an engine can take any controls. Can I put in Discord? Yeah. Shiny Panther, hey. Uh, quick checking in. The character you're working on uh, looks dope as hell. Also, love, uh, love y'all, but sadly, I got to go already. No worries, dude. That's right, yeah. And I'm glad you like the model. Um, that's, uh, in a way, that's a, that's a hardship. No uh, wonder so many things want you to rig in Maya. It's the most widely used. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So now I have to copy all of this over to the other side, like a sap. <laughs> oh boy. So I have a, uh, maybe this will work. I have a little bit of an automation that I can use. Uh, you know what, no, that's a bad idea. Bad idea, let's just do this the old fashioned way. And I have to invert, um, ooh. I have to invert both of these. Okay. I'm going to do this for everything. Uh, huh? Um, man, if this uh, Maya version had symmetrized, yeah. Well, it's it's not like I don't think even a tool built into Maya would work. I have a tool I wrote for myself that I could use. I'm not using it so that I can show you the process. Um, and unfortunately, it's too late for me to use it because I would have had to start the rig with my tool, which I didn't. Um, so it, it wouldn't work even if I tried. Oh shoot. Oh, no. I also had to put these these um these transforms on the adjust node, which I accidentally did not do. Um that's okay, we can fix. I just gotta fix it. Okay. Um Unless you have enough money to make riggers do the rigs between two softwares and, or have it in-house made uh, when sound software, likely you'll have to rig in my... The thing is the skeleton would have to be absolutely the same, so, so no, they wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. Um, also, do you know an easy, any easy way to make a braid? I spent hours... No, no easy way. I spent hours making a braid just the other day. Um, it's a pain in the ass. But, you know, uh, things just take patience. The character uh, hair flow is pretty complex, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have a I have a tool that I can uh, store my attributes. Oh yes, this will work. I'll store all my attributes, zero them out, and then paste the attributes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will work. Okay. I ha I I have a plan. It's fine. I will copy it over to the adjust node afterwards. Just know when you're posing these, use the adjust node. Don't pose the controller themselves because you're not going to get them where you want them to be. Um, but I have a plan, so it's okay. We'll be fine. Oops, not like this.
Um, okay. All right, so this is fine. And then we're going to change the rotation on that. And we're going to go to the, this one now. I highly recommend, like, you know, on your own time, eventually learning how to do uh, scripting. Because all these things can be scripted. Um, I'm just showing you what has to happen. And now that you know what has to happen, you can script it, right? Um, scripting isn't really within the scope of, uh, of this, though. So I, I'm not going to be going into scripting. In fact, the, the whole face thing is a kind of out of scope as well, but we're doing it. Uh, did I? Why did I do that? This should not be going in. Okay. Um, so that is all of them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my little trick to see if I can copy the attributes over. Uh, before I do that, maybe I want to move this back. Oh, ooh. I'll probably want to adjust the weights on that so that, see like, see how this bird is not being influenced by anything? I don't like that. I'm probably going to adjust the weights so that this influences that a bit more. Um, the turn. On what channel can I post a final render? There's a, there's an art channel, or, um, there's a channel called Art, or Gallery, sorry. Gallery would be where you put it. Um, so learn Python about scripting? Yeah, I'd highly recommend learning Python. Throw 10K? No, don't do that. <laughs> um, your rig seems way much more complex than mine. Yeah, it takes a lot of work um, to get all the details that you want, right? Um, and it's all about like how much complexity you want to have. Uh, and that, that's up to you. Only you know the answer to that question. Now we're getting all hypothetical now. So I'm just going to move all the uh, transforms that I put on these to the upper control. Um, fortunately, I have, a, I have a script for that. You do not have this script, so you would, again, don't pose the, the controllers, pose the, the adjust node above them, right? Um, so we're going to go in here and we're going to store attributes. And then we're going to go in here, we're going to zero all this out. And we're going to go up one. And then we're going to go and paste attributes. Ah, it worked. Glorious. And then I'm going to save now. I'm going to key that. And now what happens is when the, uh, yeah, there we go. So now what I can do is I can do this. Neat, right? And then we just have one that goes the other way, that pinches the mouth. And this is a little bit easier. I'm just going to yank you, you, you fellows in here. Again, I'm, I'm moving the controls instead of the adjust node. Um, but you'll want to move the adjust node. Uh, in just a minute, Cable, yes. Um, 15K, but stop playing hard to get, no. Uh, are you using Python for scripting? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, work is weird on, I'm a bail bonds agent and yesterday someone threw a whole fucking frozen rotisserie chicken at me? Wait, what? <laughs> How and why? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all.
Hmm. How do I want to? Uh, oh, I did translate in the Z a little bit. I don't know why, but I shot him in the balls of the rubber bullet. What? <laughs> That's so American. <laughs> yeah. And if anyone's wondering like how I'm transferring from one side to the other like this, um, I didn't explain that, so I probably should. Oops. Um, so what I'm actually doing is I select the, 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 the right control and then the left control. And if you select any of these attributes and hit enter, it'll just retain what the value is in there and apply it to the other side. And then I'm just uh, neg negating it, right? So um, I know that X has to be the opposite, so I'm making it a negative. And all rotations except for the X, because it's mirrored on the other side, have to be negative as well. And now, um, I'm just going to test by opening the jaw up a little bit. Oh, I should have tested this first. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. Not a big fan. That'll do. And then I'm just going to fix the X position. There. And now if I open the jaw, it should look okay. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Yeah, it'll do. And we'll just hit the translate X again, and we'll just key that. Boom. And now... Uh-oh. Oh, I made a mistake. Whoops. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry. We're good. The problem is that the, the transforms are on the, the sub-control, not on the main control. So it's no biggie. Um, so we're just going to uh, recopy all this stuff, and we're going to put it onto the adjust nodes like before. Um, whoops. And then we're going to take these guys, and then we're going to take store adders, zero it out, and then we're going to hit up, and then we're going to go into here again, paste attributes. And then we're going to key it. And now, all right. Here you go, cable. Alright. <laughs> 
Um, if you ever get back to, uh, to Canada, will you drive three days again, uh, or will you take a plane? Um, it took more than three days to drive, um, and I would take a plane, yeah. Um, I posted the thing in Discord. Awesome. Let's have a look. And hey, for how are you doing? Oh, this looks great. Yeah, those braids look like they would take forever. Oh, wow, you animated this character and everything. Nice work. That's awesome. And Flu, thank you for contributing to the new stream Avatar Boss Challenge. Oh, you got your new emote in! Which ones did you lose, Fro? Which ones did you sacrifice for the new May emote? Whose work? For your work. Uh, Lurk Emote got uh, moved to Follower Emote. Ah. Naomi got obliterated. Uh, one of her emotes got obliterated. Well, moved. Demoted. One of her emotes got demoted. <clears throat> yeah. Bro has a new favorite waifu. Um... Okay, so that's done. There we go. We're good. Um, now that we have all this done, I can start parenting this stuff and then, then we can tackle the eye. All right, so we're going to start working on the eye now, actually. The thing that we were supposed to start doing 20 minutes ago. You know, we got demoted, yeah. Uh, May is always a follower emote. Mm. I'll demote your butt. <laughs> Capricious. So all these joints are going to go underneath the, uh, so we're going to show joints again, show joints, and we're going to throw all of these underneath the, uh, the head control. So something I want to note at this point, so we've created this controller that does, that basically drives some of the uh, positions here. You can do this for a whole bunch. So if you look at any of the other rigs that I put out, you'll notice that I have a whole bunch and they're all built the same way right um so you can use these controls in order to drive any other controls on your face by doing the same method that we just did um you'll notice that the controls on my like my other controllers are rotated 45 degrees and the reason for that is if um the only time i'll do this is if there's a control that has like the, the box won't be rotated 45 degrees but the control is that way because that way it makes the control move um, kind of like in in relative to the the uh, forty five axes axes because for those are for controls that drive um, smile and frown um, for example so basically if you do higher up you do a smile and if you do lower down you do a frown um, and that way I can use just one axis to drive the frown on one side and one axis here so basically the negative y and the positive x would drive the frown positions on both sides. Um, and then the ups uh, would drive the smile on the, on the other positions, which is why I have some that are angled. Um, but we're not going to get into that. That's a little bit um, past what we want to cover here. This is just mainly to get like a basic controller. Um, because if you move the controller here normally, they, you're not going to get any of the uh, mouth going in and out. And that's probably the most painful thing to deal with. Um, so I want to make sure that I showed you how to do that at least. But anyway. I digress. Um, so we're going to put these into the um, group these, and these are going to be uh, GR uh, face sub controllers. And we're going to 
parent those underneath the head, like so. Boom. Um, and we're going to keep the sync control, and we're just going to parent it under the head as well, but we'll just keep it on its own group. If I had a whole bunch of these, I would, I would parent it, but, or group them, but there's only one, so I don't need to group it. And uh, that's it. What software is this? This is Maya. Um, I'm just making braids with the Blender Curve system. Gotcha. Make a big brain. Negative X, positive Y. I just got, uh, want to make cute waifus I don't want to map. You know, if you want a rig, you got a math. But oh, we're going to make eyes now. Um, and if you want to make games in general, you kind of got to math a little bit. I know no one wants to math, but you got to. You got to. Um, oh, wait. The next thing we got to do is we got to create an eye control. Oh, you know what's... Well, I should probably still do both sides, but because she has an eye patch, I could get away with just doing one eye and not rig the other one. <laughs> and I might. I might just do that to save us time. I might not actually rake the other eye because she doesn't have one. She only has one eye. Pro is good with math. It's true. Um, okay, so we're going to go into our mesh here. Um, at the... At, no matter what, I'm only going to rig one eye right now, but I'm, if, I might do the other one off stream if I feel like it. Um, but for now, we're only going to do one eyeball, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go click and then shift click, right? Um, and we're going to go into our eye here, and we're going to parent it under the eye. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because I, I kept my transforms from when I created this, this sphere, right? So I know I can just click this, and it'll center out on the eye, right? So it's good to keep your transform mesh um, for, for placement. Uh, so we're going to just take that and we're going to now, now that we have it in position, uh, and this is going to be uh, bit 01 i l. Right? And I like to keep all the joints um, outside of the mesh, sorry, outside of the main hierarchy until I'm done working on them because it's easier to select them this way. Um, yeah. Pro can help us all? Definitely. Pro has all the answers. Okay. And we'll duplicate it for the other side. I'm going to like create the joints for these, but I'm not actually going to skin it to the head because I don't need to. Um, and it's, there's no real point in me showing you that because you can just mirror the weights over, right? So it's not that beneficial. Right, this is the IR. Um, oh yeah, we don't need this anymore. Well, not for now at least. Uh, I don't think we'll need this at all actually for the rest of the rig, so that's nice. Um, okay, so we got our I. Uh, and then what we have to do is uh, um, we're going to have to create some, some directional controls for this. So in order to do that, we're going to create a circle, uh, and we're going to hit V and then snap it to the eye. I'm going to hide the mesh for a minute. V, okay, right. Um, and then we're going to create a. Uh, I need to create my another box controller. I wish I hadn't. Um, we'll just create another square. It's not a big deal. So we're going to create a square down here. Custom rigging, and then we're going to do a, yeah, so we're going to create a curve. Again, this is my own custom shelf. This is the CV curve tool. I've shown this in the previous stream, which is why I'm just using my shelf now. Um, but it is in, uh, in uh, mod or create, uh, and it should be in here somewhere. Curve tools, CV curve tool, right? Um, so we showed that last time, or two weeks ago. Uh, but I'll sh I just want to make sure that you guys remember that uh, your shelf might not have that in it. What are you being all sad about, bro? Oops, I gotta create an adjust node for that. There we go. Okay. Now what I have to do is make sure that it lines up with the uh, eye controls, or the eye joints. Sorry. So, all right. Pull that up. 
and we're going to pull this out. And we're going to parent this underneath this. Okay. And we're going to rotate the x 90 degrees so that it's there. And I'm going to make sure that this box is big enough to fit uh, both eye controls. Just going to pull that out in three spaces. Cool. And uh, we'll create an adjust. Whoop. Uh, quantum bucket. Thank you for following. We're going to create an adjust node for this too. All right. So this is going to be ADJ CN uh, BIP 001 eyes. Uh, like so. I'm just going to put this underneath this, this controller so that I can make sure that it's in the right position. Like so. I'm going to put that underneath there. And we're going to go here, this, this. Uh, and this is going to be IL. There. No worries. I hope you're having a good day. And we're going to make this yellow. And then this is going to be red. And we're also going to, like before, uh, I'm going to freeze transforms on this because I don't want to have that rotation on there. But we're going to lock everything except for the translate X and Y. Lock selected. Um, and this way we can just move around on the, uh, on the surface here. And we're going to duplicate this. And we're going to move it to the other side. This is going to be our right eye. Ah, okay. Uh, and this is going to be blue. Boom. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to show our mesh again. Uh, and right now I only have one eye to skin, so we're going to skin it to the one eye. I mean, a skin. Oh, I hope first I gotta unbind this. Uh, skin. Skin, unbind skin. And then we're gonna bind it to this joint. Skin, bind skin. Boom. Uh, and now what we have to do is we have to create an aim constraint on this joint. So we're gonna select. Oh man, it's been a while since I've created an aim constraint. Select the controller, then the joint. And we're gonna go constrain aim. Um, and what we're going to do. Because we're going to use the, um, what are we going to do? I'll say we're going to use the scene up. That'll, that'll be fine. Uh, and we're going to do an aim vector. Um, so x is the aim. So we're going to say, OK, it's looking down the x-axis. So that's 1. And the up vector is the y, see? Um, so the y is up. And then scene up is going to be uh, our relative, um, uh, our, our base, yeah, it's going to be what we use to, um, to make sure that things stay oriented properly. I could probably use the head control as well as the up, but um, I think world up will just, will be fine. The only time it, could, it would be a problem is if like the character was upside down. Um, then you'd probably, if, like, if the character is ever going to be upside down, you might be better off using the head control as up. Um, because otherwise the eye might do a 180 degree flip. That said, I'm probably going to want to use the head control. Yeah, I'm going to use an object. Screw it. Uh, object rotation up. And I'm going to use the, uh, the head controller. The MBIPO one head. Um, and the world up vector, I think it's supposed to be this, um, but we'll see. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, we're going to constrain all axes, don't maintain offset, we're going to apply and see how that works. Okay. Um, so if this all works fine. 
Awesome. Okay, so her eye moves now. And we're going to notice this looks very weird because her eyelids do not move. Um, so that's why we're not done yet. <laughs> What does BIP01 biped? You can use any prefix you want. But when I first learned rigging, the, the videos I was watching, they would always use BIP01 BIP as their prefix, and it just became a habit for me. Um, but you can use whatever prefix you want. Like it could be BN or something, right? Um, but I just I say BIP because that's what I got used to. Um, yeah. There we go. Woo. Okay. So the next thing that we got to do is create the eyelid controls. Um, so things are going to look a little bit weird again because we're going to get rid of uh, a bunch of the extra geo. So we're going to get rid of the ambient occlusion. Oh, and this is painted on. Okay, so that stays. All right, so it's just the, eye, the ambient occlusion that goes away. Uh, and the ambient occlusion was acting a little bit funny in Maya anyway because Maya does not like things that are too close together with an alpha on them. And looking at this eye texture now, I'm probably going to reduce the amount of shadow on here. Because that, 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 that comes in a little bit too soon. Um, these are things too, is like sometimes you'll adjust the textures a little bit when you notice stuff like this. But that's okay. Um, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our eyelid controls. We're going to duplicate this. Um, I'm only going to do the left side again because the right side, there is no, um, there's no eye there, and it's a waste of time for me to show you how to do both because it's the same process. Upper L. We're going to just delete the stuff under that because uh, it had the parent constraint under it. So when I duplicated the eye, I just it just had a parent constraint, and I just removed it. Uh, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's selectable. So that's our upper eyelid. And then we're going to duplicate another one for the lower eyelid. Okay. Um, and then we're going to make this one maybe like a 1.5. Um, so that's our lower eyelid. Great. Um, so now that we have these controls there, um, what I'm thinking I'm going to do, uh, and that I've done in the past, is I might add a little bit of an angling to these. And the reason for that is because she's got this kind of almond cat eye shape. Um, and to have a nice eyelid close, it's probably better to have a little bit of an angle. On a more realistic eye, this corner and this corner would be more lined up. So a perfect vertical would be fine. But because I have this kind of stylized shape, it's not quite as good. Um, so I might need to add a little bit of an angle. So I'm probably going to add like an angle of five. Just something slight. Hmm. Eight maybe. Hmm. I think that'll look okay. Essentially just trying to match this angle. It'll always be a little bit sketchy though. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. As it might be it might get a little it might get a little sketchy. But that's okay. So we're gonna freeze those transforms now. And if I was to mirror this to the other side, I'd of course have to make the angle uh, I'd have to fix the angle to be the opposite way as well. Right? Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add these influences to the head. Right? So we're gonna un uh, un Restrict the head there. I'm going to go skin, edit influences, add influence. Boom. And another thing I want to do here is now I want to, um, I'm going to add a key to these um, so that I can close the eyes. Okay. That's probably going to be too much, but it's, uh, it'll get the point for us. Now we're going to hop in here, and uh, because the, the eyes aren't parented to the skeleton right now, they come up right at the top. That's why I like to have the joints outside of the hierarchy when I'm painting them for the face, and then I'll pop them into the hierarchy afterwards. Uh, 
Okay. I hope everyone uh, is following along. The, it's complicated, I know. Oops. What did I just paint? <laughs> oh, the cheek? Oh, I see. Uh, that's okay. Eyelid, upper L. There we go. Cool. We're just going to paint this all in, like so. Uh, and it's going to look a little bit janky. Don't worry. Things always start janky. Uh, we'll fix it. <laughs> we'll fix it. There we go. Okay. Um, and I'm noticing now that I might have put too much of an angle on here. Because you can see that it's, it's moving way more on the one side than the other. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go into the smooth, the, um, the uh, what's it called, um, move skin joints tool. So we're going to go, um, uh, where is it again? Skeleton, no. Where is it? Skin, ah, skin, move skin joints. It's eyelid ray painting? Yes. Um, so I think I put a little bit too much of an angle on it, and that's okay. So we can just go into our attribute editor. Um, and you can see the 8 uh, degree axis that we did. Uh, and we can just uh, reduce that a little bit. So we're going to say, maybe we want to do 6 angle, or 5, like we had before. Uh, we'll try 6. All right, and then we're going to just get out of that tool, just click anywhere uh, on any other tool and you'll stop using it. And then if we do that, okay. Still rotating a lot more than I would like, but hmm. eh, it's not terrible. I could probably reduce it more, even. Let's uh, hit it again, and we'll we'll go down to four. We'll try. Oh, yeah. Okay. Worried me for a second. Uh, it seems to be doing the same thing, uh, which is interesting. But I expected it to change a little bit more. For the sake of argument, I'm going to save, uh, and I'm going to test out what would happen if I um, did it like negative 20. Will this, uh, what will this do? It's the same. Oh no, it's not. Hmm. You know, after doing all this, I, I think that Zero rotation would actually be fine for this. Um, but you know, if you have like more of an angle, then maybe an angle is better, but I think zero works fine. Okay. Oh, that's why. That's why I look the same, it's because I was only editing the lower eyelid. I'm I'm dumb. It's okay. Don't worry me. Don't mind me. I'm just dumb. Like, why is it not changing? There we go. Um, let's all be dumb together. Yeah. Hmm. I'm still thinking that maybe zero is the the way to go, though. I still think zero is the way to go. Let's just do zero. Okay. That still doesn't seem like it's changing, which is interesting. That's the lower eyelid. Wait, is it? Yeah. This is the upper eyelid. Okay. Yeah. Um I was just dumb before it was cool. Hey, Rod, how are you doing? Um, is the eyelid uh, a mesh or no? What do you mean? Is the Oh, the eyelash is a mesh. It's just hidden right now. Um, I have a little bit painted in because I, I like to have... 
Just for stylistic regions, I like to have the eyelash kind of like blend right up to the eyeball. So I textured it in a bit, um, but there is an eyelash, yeah. It's just hidden. I actually think I textured this too far up because this is going to stretch along the face. I'm going to have to make adjustments to the texture. Um, yeah, I'm going to make adjustments to the texture because this is going to look really bad, I'm noticing now. Because this is going to stretch all the way down, so she's going to have like a black eyelid. Um, yeah, I, I really, I wouldn't have wanted it to, to go past this polygon, but you can see the texture goes up into this polygon, and that's not going to be good. Um, so I'll probably have to make adjustments, which is fine. Um, but it is something to note, right? Uh-oh. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Skin, added influences, remove influence. No. Um, this is the lower eyelid. I accidentally moved or adjusted this before in not... Basically, I moved this when it wasn't in the... Uh, um, move skin joints tool. So now if I try to paint this, you, you saw that the verts are moving in its default state, which is bad. So I'm actually going to remove this. Uh, skin, edit influences, remove influence. And then add it back on. Uh, edit influences, add influence. Okay, there we go. It's all right. Um, it's the art station base mesh guy. Yes, the king of base mesh. Rod's an excellent artist. Everyone should go follow Rod if you haven't. Uh, excellent artist, very talented, very skilled. It's base mesh. It's best mesh. <laughs> you kind of started a new thing. Ah, I see. Thanks for the shout, and of course, you deserve it. So we're just going to go in and we're just painting this away. All right. Um, so I'm going to adjust the uh, key on this. So I'm essentially going to find a position where it, it kind of meets where I want it to. Um, so this is a 100% weight here. So basically, these verts need to be touching. Um, and then, uh, then it's considered, if basically, if every everything is touching, um, and then one is clashing, then I know that I've uh, rotated it enough. Um, so I'm going to, um, you know what, now that I have, uh, now that I have uh, weights on this, I can delete. Um, shift E, and then I'm going to go here, and we're going to just rotate this into a position that is decent. Uh, I'm going to make it so that it's a nice clean value. I want it to look like a blink, essentially. So maybe 18, maybe. This is probably too much. Let's do 15. And then I'm just going to make sure that the upper eyelid touches the lower eyelid, like so. All right. And then we're going to key both of those. Uh, if I learn uh, Python, I wrote a repeater script 
where you can record an action when and hit repeat. Um, yeah, that'd be handy. My already kind of has that where we'll just repeat like it'll just repeat one action, which is G. If you hit G, it'll just repeat the last thing that you did. Um, to an extent, it's very very limited. Like it'll just use the same tool twice. Um, key or key, because um, if either are not aligned, you won't have a good day. It's true. So both. <laughs> so both. Okay, so now we're going to uh, start getting the head influence in there. And what I want to do is basically, I want to make sure that I get a nice line from there to there, right? Um, so in order to do that, I'm actually probably going to go into the component editor for this. It'll be easier. Um, so we're going to close this all the way. I'm just going to select these guys. Where's the other one? Give it. I said give it. All right. We're going to just open up our component editor. Here. Here's our component editor friend. And um, we're just going to add uh, some more head influence into this. So it's probably going to be like 0.1. Oh, I gotta, I gotta unlock it first. My one. And we're just gonna make sure that we get like a nice, a nice line across. I think that that might be even more than I need on that. So maybe 0 0.08, 0 0.05. That'll do. I make sure I'm in F8 component mode so that I'm not accidentally selecting joints. And we'll add some more influence to the head here. There we go, yeah, that's a good amount. And again, we'll just repeat this process until we get all the way to the bottom. Uh, it'll be, I'll probably have to go over these again once I can see, because the other eyelid's kind of in the way. Um, but we're, we're getting there. So now we're getting a nice, like, nice line across, right? I'm going to start doing the other eyelid now um, so that we can start, you know, seeing what we're doing. Uh, so the eye, uh, the head joint will be probably about an influence of 0 0.05 as well here. Oh, I got to unlock it. Same mistake twice. Some people learn from their mistakes, but not me. Hmm, actually, this needs a lot of more head influence there. Okay. Not that much. I think two is good. Uh, and then we're gonna take this guy. And then we're gonna put probably about 0.4 uh, more. 0.6, not that much, 0.5. And we got an extra joint in there, or vert in there that we don't want. And then we're gonna say, I don't know, 0.8. Uh, a little less, 0.75. Okay. And we'll go in here and have a little bit more influence as well, maybe 0.1. Point, point this is why I like the angle of the eye might have been a good idea, because then I get, get a little bit better weight distribution. Um, but this will be fine. It'll be fine. Why, Maya, do you have to be sub only? <laughs> I know, right? Because money, that's why. Because money. It's a sad, sorry affair, but we'll live. We'll live, maybe not as happily as we would like, but we'll live. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> yeah, sorry, this this process is probably a little bit boring. But this is what you signed up for. Remember, 
All of you, you asked for this. You wanted this. You asked me so many times. So I'm going to show it to you. And then we'll never speak of this again. Is it a weight painting problem? It's not a problem. It's just I'm doing it. <laughs> And it's not fun to watch. Sweep it under the rug and hide it. That's right. No one has to know. No one has to know. If anyone asks, didn't happen. Didn't happen. Nope, not that much. We're not even close to that much. And then this one's probably not supposed to have as much head influence either. Probably like 0.3. There we go. Modify drivers? What do you mean? There's no problem. I'm just I'm just waiting. <laughs> it's all fine. It's just boring. That's all. That is all. Not that much. Point six. No. Point four. No. Point five. Ah. Eight point four. 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 Ah. And then this one is going to have a little bit more eyelid influence. Point one, and more. More! That's right, I said more! And this is going to be, I don't know, 0.05. And this is going to have the lower eyelid influence. One, all right. Yeah, we did it! Telling everyone making calls right now versus your mother. Get out of here. <laughs> I think I'm actually done with the stupid hair. Nice. I am done painting the, the base uh, of that eyelid. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that rad? We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Now, how many people out there could rig a whole face in one stream? Mm. <laughs> Even if it is a bit janky. That's a that's that's a tickle. Oh, <laughs> yes. I mean your I mean your puns. Your slimy, slimy puns. You can come in. <laughs> We're going to notice a lot of stretching in the texture here because of where I position that uh, the, 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 the paint for the uh, eyelash. That's something to keep in mind when you're, um, when you're modeling. And this is, this is, this is why I got, like I don't, I'm not a big fan of rigging, um, but um, I do highly recommend, even if you're a modeler, trying to do some rigging because you'll learn about this stuff, right? You'll be like, oh wait, I really, I can't, I shouldn't texture there because now if I try to move the eyelid, you get this huge stretch, right? Um, so it is, it's very valuable, right? 
Um, did you know that there was 2001 sitcom called Six Feet Under and you said people won't look for that name? Um, no, no, the problem is that there are other things called that. That's why we didn't call it that. We knew about that already. There's so many things that are called Six Feet Under that if you search it, you find all the other stuff and not our game. So we changed the name. Uh, is the character modeling or sculpting? Both. Change the six feet over. It's called another side now. There we go. Do you ever sleep? Or are you a robot? I'm definitely not a simulation. I'm not a robot. Definitely not. Definitely not. No. Ask him something only the real stuff would know. Oh, I'm the real stuff. That is, that is 100% true. Yes. Only the fake stuff would say that. Trust me, there's only one stop. Uh, Mingi001 is now falling. They're falling. Oh, Not true. Yes. But I was definitely not a simulation from the beginning. No. Mm -mm, no. Um, I'll keep my eye on you. Mm, okay. All right, so that'll, that'll do. Um, all right, yeah, I'll fix that stretching on the texture later. That's not really important right now. Um, so the next important thing is we're gonna have to create a uh, controller for these eyelids. Okay, I'll just remove the keys on there. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, um, an eyelid control. Uh, so in order to create said control, um, we're going to put a, oh, what control would be nice? A cube maybe? Or a sphere? Circle. Circle! We're going to circle it. We're going to circle it. All right, we're going to take our eyelid controls. I'm just going to create controllers on there using um, my tool. You know how to, we, I've already shown you how to make uh, controls. So, uh, parent, create. Ah! It's fine. That did definitely, definitely did not happen 
just now. I did not make a mistake. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, anyone who told you otherwise is lying. I would never. I would never make a mistake. Ever. And now we're just going to position these guys. So, and we're going to scale them down a little bit because they don't need to be that big. I'm going to make the upper eyelid a little bit higher. Like so. Throw you up there. And the lower eyelid. Oh, come on. There we go. Gonna put you down there. Like so. And these are going to be both. Oh, I'm going to make the upper one red and the lower one pink. And the reason for that is when the eyelid closes, I can tell which one's which a little bit easier. Uh, is uh, the hair mesh uh, or hair cards? Hair mesh. Uh, yeah, it's uh, not cards in this case. Hey, how are you doing? Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do some uh, some driven keys, just like we did with um, uh, with the other thing. And remember how I said I wouldn't need that controller anymore? I lied. <laughs> um, key set driven key. We 100% need this again. And I don't know why I thought I wouldn't. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, this position as the driver. Okay. Um, so we're going to do the translate X and Y um, of both of these are going to affect the rotation of the eyelid. Um, we're just going to key those. All right. What's going to happen is when the eye... Um, oh, hold on. Um, I made a mistake. Uh, the driver shouldn't be this, but it should be the eyeball uh, joint that is the driver. So that is my mistake. I'm going to break the connections on these. Uh, right click, break connections. Also, I realize I have to make an additional adjust note on these, so I'm going to do that now. Uh, adjust note. Okay. Um, and uh, that way the adjusts are fine. And my driver is actually the joint uh, rotation. Uh, so we're going to uh, load driver, like so. Um, and then we're going to hit Y and the rotate Y axis and the rotate Z axis are both going to affect the rotation of these. So we're going to use the rotation Y, E, and the rotation Z, E. All right. And now what we're going to do is um, when we rotate this way, um, the eye is going to be, we're going to try to find the, the, the greatest extent. I usually like to keep this value pretty clean, so we're going to hit 20. Um, hey, Steel. Liar, I know. Hey, Cage. Uh, I don't know why, but I can't just open ArtStation. I, like, I feel, if, uh, like, if, feel scared. Why would you feel scared to open ArtStation? Uh, because of all the overwhelming art? Is that the issue? There is a lot of very nice art out there. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to pose it. So basically when it's in this position, uh, oops, i got to turn off the constraints. Um, let's turn that off. I'm just going to rotate this. And so basically when the eyelid goes out that way, it'll rotate a little bit. So we're going to hit maybe seven. Doesn't have to be a lot, maybe six. This needs a little bit of movement, not a ton of movement. <clears throat> and then we're going to do rotate negative six. That's too much. Negative four. And um, the reason I like to do very clean values is because I have to do the same thing and copy it to the other side. And if I use weird values, it becomes very difficult to copy. So the cleaner values, the easier your life is going to be. I'm not going to copy to the other side because um, she only has one eye. But if you did, you just have to do the same process on the other eye. Um, and you'd probably want the values to be the same, right? So you'd probably look at what values you put in here and then just do it on the other side. Uh, and again, remember, I'm moving the adjust node, not the control, because the adjust node is what's getting the driven key set to it, right? 
Uh, I just posted my model and I'm scared to open. Oh. No one's going to bash you in ArtStation, if that's what you're worried about. No one does that. Uh, ArtStation isn't toxic at all. It's just for portfolios. Um, yeah. And, um, okay, so that's moving like that. Uh, and we have only rotated in the x-axis. So the x-axis is the only one that needs to be controlled for this particular key. Rotate x. And the i rotation that we're worried about right now is the y rotation. So y rotation is our influencer. Um, and we're going to key and then we're going to rotate in the... What? Why did it not change the selection? x. Okay. Um, and we're just going to key both of those. Key. Um, so now what's going to happen is whenever we move the i like this, Uh, okay. <laughs> Why did that not work? What? Okay. What? <laughs> What the heck? Hold on. Huh? Maya, what are you doing? Oh, it is moving. It is. It's too subtle. It's too subtle. It is moving. It's moving. Okay. It's like, what the hell, man? What the hell? I would have been so mad. <laughs> it's like, what the hell, man? Maya does do that kind of thing sometimes, by the way. Um, just, just so you know. Sometimes it's just like, yeah, I don't actually want to move anymore. <laughs> and you just have to restart the software. It's, it's stupid. Um, that 100% does happen. Okay, so now... Still very subtle. You can see that the eye moves a little bit though, right? You can see that the eyelids are now moving with the eye slightly. Um, but I do think I want to move that even more. So I might move this maybe eight in the lower eyelid. Uh, Maybe eight. Uh, I'm gonna try that now. Yeah. Okay. So you can see it's moving now. Okay. And then we're gonna go uh, and do the interior one. So when it goes inwards, I'm gonna say like negative 14. Probably about the extent of the eye going inward. Um, should I rig before posting my model on ArtStation? You should pose your model before posting on ArtStation. You don't necessarily have to rig to pose, though. Uh, you can pose it uh, in ZBrush or something. Yeah, like Cable said. Uh, there's many ways to do a thing, and it's up to you to decide how you want to do that thing. Right? Okay, so now we got some auto eyelids going, and now we got to do the up direction. Um, so we're going to say maybe eight. It's probably good. Um, and then in the eight axis, we're going to just rotate this guy up. Um, so the eyelid will probably go about yay high, 14 maybe. And the lower eyelid. Uh, it's going to go probably a little bit 
Well, probably about there. Maybe 20, or so 20 maybe. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, and then this, so this is rotation in the Z now. Um, and then we're going to be taking the rotation in the Z as well. So rotate Z is also influencing rotate Z, um, which makes sense. Uh, so we're going to key that. Done. And now we're going to do the opposite. So now if we do this, you should start seeing a little bit of, look at that. See, pretty neat, right? And we're going to do the lower one. We're going to do negative 8. Uh, negative 10. Yeah. All right. And then this guy is going to move down a little bit. And why are you not moving the axis I've assigned to you? How dare you? Maybe 7.5. Let's do 7.5. And uh, I'm going to move this one down. And then negative 30. Yeah. Again, like if I had done the angling, it, this probably would have deformed a little bit better. Um, but it would have been harder to key it as well. It's a, it, it was a tough call for me, I think. I don't think I should move that much. Maybe negative 20. A lot. Um, yeah, that should do it. I'll key that as well. Boom. And now, look at that. We have an auto eyelid. Pretty neat, right? Um, I did make a mistake though because I added these joints when this jaw was open, um, which you know, not not ideal. But that's okay. Um, if I remove the skin cluster, let's just make sure that okay, good. Um, that's the default pose, but yeah, I should have opened the jaw back up before I added the uh, other joints in there. That was a mistake, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It would have been bad if the eyelid like influenced any area of the jaw. Then it would be bad, <laughs> but it doesn't. So. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the uh, eye occlusion and the eyelash. And um, then maybe we can do the eyebrow real quick, and then we'd be done. Like done done, like super done. Like the, the dunnest you can be. The most done. How does that sound? How does it feel to be the most done you can be? Okay, so what I like to do is I like to create a strip around the eye, and this will transfer weights a little bit better because it is perfectly connected to the um, to the eyelid, and it's going to get the exact same uh, influences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these guys, oops, both these joints here, um, and the head joint, and we're going to skin it to not only this new strip that we've made, but also the eyelash. So eyelashes, the eye ambient occlusion, and this new strip. We're going to go skin um, in the rigging group, skin, and fine skin. Whoops. Oh, I got I to gotta remove influences first. My bad. Um, so we're going to deselect these two joints first. Uh, skin, uh, unbind skin. All right, and then we're going to select our two joints. Uh, they were bound earlier because I had them bound to the head for preview purposes. We're going to go skin, bind skin, like so. Okay, then we're going to take this guy and we're going to copy weights to this. So skin, copy skin weights. Um, we'll make sure our options are good. By name, apply. Um, and the reason I want to copy to this strip first is because um, I'll show you right now. So we're going to show the hair again. Now, if I had bound, if I had copied the eyelid weight directly to the eyelash, what would happen is this upper part of the head has head weight to it, right? So basically the top of this eyelash would get weighted to the head and the bottom of the eyelash would get weighted to the eyelid and then the eyelashes would stretch, right? 
But if I copy from this strip, it does not have any head influence um, because it's taking the influence directly from this strip only, and it's not accounting for this upper area. So it's, it's, you'll get a much cleaner copy from this little strip that we've created than you would have from the original head. Uh, apply. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing for the ambient occlusion. I so apply. I'm going to unhide that. Um, and now we should be able to do this and like look around and be like, yeah! Cool, right? Pog! There's a little bit of clipping here, um, and that's kind of inevitable. Like you could like adjust the eyelid a little bit, right? But eventually, like it's going to clip at some point. So unless you want to add more controls to the eyelid, like if you want to add like some sub controls, you could do that. But like if you have eyelashes that are sticking up that far, of course, when you like move the eyelid up super far, it's going to clip eventually, um, and that's okay. Um, you can always like make some little adjustments when you're animating, just like you know. You'll get your general position, you'll be like, you know what, I don't want it to move up quite that much. You can be like, ah, we'll move it down a little bit, and it'll be fine. But, um, you know, there's always some limitations to automation. But, I, you know, just be aware like that's going to happen, right? Obviously, because the eyelashes stick out really far, and if you rotate enough, it's just going to end up clipping eventually. But, um, I don't know, like, one thing I could also do is just make it, make it so that the eyelid never rotates quite that far up. So if I want to update a key that I did, I could go into Windows... Um, animation editor, graph editor. And if I want to edit a specific key, I could say, because it was the rotate Z that rotates the, uh, the axis up, um, so I'd say like, okay, so when it is up, I could just reduce the, the maximum amount of up, it could be to like 10 or something, right? And I can reduce that if I like, maybe eight. That way the eyelid, the upper eyelid never moves up above that. And then it's fine. Um, and then that happens a lot less. It'll still happen sometimes, right? Like when you go there, it'll happen. But, you know, now it's not like when I go up, you no, know, it doesn't quite happen so much. So it's okay. Yeah. And again, like if I wanted the, uh, the outer twist not to happen quite so much as well, I could go in there and I could adjust that as well. Um, so maybe I want to have it so that it doesn't quite twist out as much. Also fine. So if this is now rotate, we're considering the x-axis rotation. And this is going to be the, um, I think it's the x-axis on both. Uh, and then, oh yeah, it's rotate y on the eyeball influences the rotate x. And if I wanted this to be less, I could be like, um, five. Yeah. There. Um, and now it only influences five. There you go. Yeah. So it's still, of course, like when you get really extreme, it's going to happen, but that's not as common. Amazing! I'm glad. Thank you. Um, cool. So now we have that. So, um, we can cover the uh, eyebrows now. Why not? Might as well go the extra mile, right? Um, oops, I realized I accidentally painted a little bit of red on her eyebrow. That's okay. We're going to hide that hair for a minute. Um, and we're going to just add some joints. All right? Add some joints, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Right? And we're just gonna, you know, drop that there. Come on. Yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna hide all the hair uh, in a minute, in a minute. I'm gonna duplicate this. Um, yeah. So I usually like to have one in the, 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 the inner corner, outer corner, and then somewhere in the middle. You know, usually I'd put it like right in the middle, but I, because the peak of the eyebrow is here, I feel like it's more beneficial to me to have it at the peak of the eyebrow. But some people might prefer it here, right? Hmm. I'm still on the fence about it. 
And it's not like I can't move it later either, um, if I wanted to. Okay. And then I'm going to hide the hair for a second. And I'm just going to make sure that it's a little bit closer to the uh, head position. Yeah. And another thing I'm probably going to have to do is add eyebrow influence to the eye patch so that it deforms with the eyebrows. That would make sense, I think. Um, yeah. The top uh, of her head is amazing. Like it could be a copy, a cup, hold coffee or tea. Yeah. Bit L one um, eyebrow L or eyebrow in inner. In L, and then this is going to be mid, and then this one's going to be out, outer. Okay, and then I also create, uh, you know what, let's get to that later. Um, let's get to that later. Uh, actually, no, let's get to it now. So let's, we'll, we'll create all the joints we need. Um, so now we're going to create our right side ones. And then I just do a negative on all the x values. Again, I don't want to use the mirror joints tool because I don't want it to change the orientation of these joints. Um, and it would otherwise. And we're going to create one in the middle. Um, so we're going to create a C. Um, that's a D. <laughs> uh, in C. And uh, let's just set the x to 0. And there you have it, my friends. Um, I did not design the anatomy of her forehead very well, I'm realizing, because um, it kind of bulges out and kind of like flattens out in the center, like it would on a real person. Um, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, it's not the end of the world. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take all our joints that we've just created, and we're just going to add it to the head. So skin, head influences, head influence, like so. All right? And we're going to key all of our new friends here. All right? So we're going to go uh, Shift-W, and then we're going to move them down. Shift-W, and then we're going to move them up. W, and... Um, like so, and then we're going to go here, and we're just going to move the middle one so that we can kind of get a little bit of an offset, and and then this one is going to be down a little bit. Will this workshop be saved? Yeah, um, it all goes up here. Um, yeah. And for the time being, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a um, I'm going to create an adjust node on this guy. Uh, or not for the time being, I'll just constrain it directly. Constrain. All right. Uh, and now, actually, instead of a parent constraint, I think a point constraint would be better. And it'll be fine. For now, a parent constraint will do just fine. Uh, and the idea is this gets half the position between the two uh, joints. And uh, we'll start painting now. So let's, uh, let's paint in those weights. Uh, so tool settings. And we're going to paint in the eyebrow. Uh, these are our eyebrows. And we're just going to hit paint. And we're going to put probably 100% on all of this. So. Uh, and again, this will get worse before it gets better. Right? That's always how it goes. And in, mid. 
That went too far. Too far! Uh, did I? Yeah, I went one vert down too far. So I'm just going to put that back on that edge. So, boom. And then we're going to go out. Let's create this. Um, yeah, one more down on that. Like so. And again, we're going to just have a look at this and we're going to see, okay, <clears throat> where things are ending up. And uh, we're going to blend it out now. So we're going to take the, uh, the inner one, the mid one, sorry. We'll just smooth this out. So. And don't worry about the, uh, the above and below just yet. Right now I'm just worrying about how these interact with each other. Same with what we did with the mouth. Um, outer. And I think the head I'm going to have influence more again. Uh, just here. And then we're going to go for the inner joint. Uh, in L. I'm just going to paint that in. Um, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to go down here a little bit, and then we're going to go for the C, and then we're going to just paint this in a little bit, um, get that in there. All right, so that should be pretty decent. Now, I will say that I do want, yeah, I can't. I can't get a nice clean line between these two verts right now. Um, so I'm actually going to add a little bit more uh, influence to this. And I'm probably going to just force it to add. Because I want to be able to get a nice um, direct line between these two. Um, I might even adjust this outer corner a little bit because the eyebrow. I want to make sure that I can get the eyebrow shapes I want, essentially. Um, very important to be able to uh, you know, get a nice clean dip uh, between them. And I don't know if I'm going to get it uh, with the uh, without having a full influence here. Okay. Um, and that's fine. Again, this is going to look really weird. I'm I'm really pushing it further than the eyebrows would actually need to move, right? Um, so it it gets a little bit wacky. <laughs> Uh, and now I'm going to smooth this out. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to start influencing the, the rest of the forehead a little bit. I'm noticing that I have accidentally gone too far with this. And I'm going to use my component editor, my trusty component editor, to make sure that I don't go too far with that. Um, OK. And then we're going to do mid. And we're going to just uh, paint that. Again, I went too far over there, so I'm going to fix that. And that is that. OK. Um, And as I'm doing this, is there anything else uh, you, you guys want me to talk about? Because um, we're pretty much done now. Uh, this is kind of like the last thing that I have uh, planned out for us to go over. So if there's anything specific um, you want me to just mention or elaborate on, now's the time. I'm just enjoying the manly sound of your voice. Oh man, you flatter me. <laughs> I definitely do not have a manly voice. I feel like I have a, a child's voice. But I appreciate that.
more manly than mine. I sound like puberty took one uh, look at me and said, no, thank you. <laughs> I don't think your voice is overly high. The process you made here would uh, be different if the model was slightly more high poly. No, it would be the same. You just have more, more, more birds to paint. Just take you longer. Alright, so I'm going a little quiet here because now it's just a matter of freaking painting these, these freaking little things, you know? Ah. See. Oh no. <laughs> Should say. I'm contemplating um about uh you know how I want to influence the uh the, the strap of the eye patch. Yeah, like it can look very weird if I, like I think if I wanted, if I really wanted to go all out, I would probably add a separate controller for the eye patch itself. You know, um, but I'm probably not going to do that because it's a little bit too much. Especially considering we're not really going to be doing much facial animation; it's mostly going to be body stuff. But I wanted to cover this a little bit. Because um, I do want to get a little bit of expression on, on her face in her uh, idle and walk animations. So I felt it was worthwhile doing it something. Uh, is this skin tools? It's just the paint weights tool, yeah. Will you create some blend shapes? No. This is a, a fully joint-based rig. I don't like using blend shapes for games. It makes things very complicated. And heavier. If you don't need them, don't use them. That's my opinion anyway. Um, Joel from The Last of Us was fully joint based. No, he wasn't. They had they did a joint based rig with some with some correctives. At least that's what they said in their talk. Um, so. But he was mostly joint based. They had like it was all joint based with some slight correctives. Thank you. 
Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that the uh, the head influence here is kind of even across. Let me get like 0.7. So now I can just go in here and I can be like, okay, so now I just want the head to be kind of evenly influenced all the way around. Maybe 0 0.6, there we go. And similarly on here, I can do the same thing. Head 0 0.4, maybe less, 0.3, there. Um, and again, this is a very extreme uh, eyebrow pose. It's very, very extreme, right? So it's just like, uh, it's going to be a little bit strange. But that's okay. That is absolutely fine. Um, me either, but most uh, YouTube tutorials use blend shapes, and I never understood why exactly. Blend shapes will give you a more refined shape and a more specific shape. Um, and you can get a more robust rig out of it, but it does make your life very, very complicated. And uh, I don't want my life to be more complicated, especially when it comes to rigging. Um, so, like this whole, this whole, um, this whole tutorial pipeline uh, thing that I put together here. The main idea was to make it so that um, anyone who wanted to make their own games could kind of learn and and hop in and make something for their own games. Um, as such, I'm keeping things as simple as possible because as an individual, you don't necessarily have time to build all the tech to support blend shapes in your system, right? Um, so I want to make sure that this is something that people can use generally out of the box, right? And then they can just roll with it um, and export whatever they need, right? So that's just that's kind of what I had in mind anyway, um, and hopefully uh, that uh, will do the trick for for most folks. Uh, you made many rigs for the internet, but you have uh, have you ever done any animations with them? Um, no. Um, but they share the exact same rig that my IS characters have. Um, so in a way, yes. The, the rigs work the same way. And that's outside of like a, a slight idle, of course, right? Like I, I have done, you know, slight idle animations. Okay. Now what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that uh, the head has a similar. Okay, so there's absolutely no head influence there. Um, but then there is too much here, so I'm going to reduce that a little bit. That's not enough. <laughs> uh, this is probably, well, it could be a little bit less, I guess. There, that, that'll do it. And then this is probably going to be like 0 0.7. Yeah. 0.75. Okay, great. Um, so now she has a functioning uh, eyebrow. And of course, it could be weighted a little bit better, but that gets the trick. Uh, and then we're going to just remove all the keys that we've created. Uh, Actually, before that, let's skin the eyebrows. Let's skin the eyebrows. Uh, so skin, edit, whoa! Uh, that's a big raid. Cake X chan Thank you for the raid of, for a party of 41. Who wants cake? I love cake. Um, her cheeks inflate? How are you guys doing? Thank you for the follow. Um, I know they do. I'm not questioning uh, the rigs. I'm just saying, have you ever made use? No. 
I, I've done some idle animations and I've done poses and stuff, but um, I haven't made use of those specific ones, just the ones from my game. How are you doing, uh, KKX Chan? I hope your day is going well. Mallow CH, thank you for the follow. Um, Wrath Potato Cat, thank you for the follow. And KKX Chan, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, thank you very, very much. Me? Acid Cherry, hey, how are you doing? Um, we're just uh, doing a, a little bit of a workshop here. Um, and <laughs> JC cut a little bit late. Uh, I like your textures, thank you. Uh, Lancer1583 is now following, thank you for following. Um, cheeks are very important, it's true. Uh, doing good. Someone suggested uh, to raid you since uh, I was also doing uh, Blender character work. Is uh, this a model of you? Yes, it is. Um, thank you very much. And uh, to whoever recommended me, thank you uh, for recommending. Um, so I've been doing a workshop on character creation. So we started by, des I, I did the design, so we did some concept art. Then we did some modeling, then texturing, now we're rigging. Um, next week we'll be doing animation, and then we'll be doing implementation into Unity. If anyone's interested in that, I have the whole process up on YouTube. Uh, it was loading on my side? Ah, got you, got you. It was cool as, as F? Thank you. <laughs> Very pretty? Thank you, thank you. I'll show you the whole model in a moment. Uh, I'm just currently working on the eyebrows. <laughs> the eyebrows are hidden. Um, and we'll, 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 uh, we'll get to showing you that in a second. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta remove the influence, the skin. Edit influences, remove influence. I've already done that. Ah, uh, okay. Um, the brows and the head joint. Show the whole skeleton. Whole skeleton? All right. Skin, bind skin. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? Remove. Okay. Come on now. Um, there we go. Skin, blind skin. Uh, now you're just teasing me. Skin, unbind. Okay. I'm sure I hit that twice. All right. Skin, bind skin. There you go. That's the ticket. Skin, copy skin weights. Uh, and then we're going to shift hide and we're going to show the hair. There we go. Hair. Uh, and eyebrow. Ah. Yeah. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. It works now. Now we can move the eyebrows around. I can't wait to see the full model in a second. Yeah, yeah. Show model, show model. Okay, fine. There she is. Um, that is the whole model. I can show you the render, um, which looks like a mom's set too. Here, hold on, just a second. Uh, file reset. Print press it. Uh, did you paint in substance? Yes. Uh, So this is the full model with proper lighting and shading and stuff. Yeah, yeah. A lot of work. A lot of work. We did it. We did it. Looks so nice. Thank you. Oh yeah, turn on fast mode, right? You're probably chugging, eh? There we go. Sorry about that. Yeah. I always forget. I always forget to turn on fast mode. Um, but yeah, let's let's finish up what we were doing here because uh, I don't want this video to get too long. Uh, so we got our mouth control and our eyebrow controls. Great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just remove the keys on this. Right. And we're gonna delete. Um, that's great. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create controls on all of these. Um, and we have created, um, we have created a, 
uh, we have, like I have my script for creating the controls for these, and I've shown you how to create a control, so I'm just going to use my script again. Create. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the control for these guys. Um, hold on. i got to hide the mesh for a second. And we're just going to take this guy and this guy. And then, oh wait, I want to create an additional just node actually. So we're going to do that as well. And um, I'm going to take this guy and this guy. And then mid C, and then we go constrain parent. Uh, oh wait, I didn't want a parent, I want to do point. Uh, constrain point. There. Great. Um, and now when I move that, it'll follow along. Perfect. Perfect. And I'm just going to group these, and I'm going to go control group. These are going to be gr brow controls. Um, it's like watching magic happen. <laughs> uh, Yeah, we'll just make it up his own religions. Um, yeah, there we go. And now what I want to do is I want to take all this new eye control stuff, and we're pretty all we're pretty much all set. So I'm just going to take all of this and we're going to just parent it underneath the head bone, and uh, we're good to go. We did it. We did it, guys. We created a face rig together. Together, we we can accomplish anything. <laughs> uh, we'll just turn, and yeah, we'll just turn these under here. Um, that's great. Uh, I also want to make sure that these are colored properly. I'm gonna make these blue. Uh, where is my color tool? There. So these are gonna be blue. And this is going to be green. And if you want to like get in more in more in depth, we can, you could add like a, controls for the tongue and teeth and stuff. And you just add that on, right? It's not nothing too crazy. But I think this will cover everything that we that we need. Um, we worship only you, only you, cable. Uh, I can uh, draw, uh, but three uh, D is a whole new thing. It takes a little bit. It takes a little bit. Uh, yeah, feel free to post art as well. Um, so, Cake, if you want to share what you were working on, please do. I would love to see it. Um, I would like to know about the tongue. It, all it is is a joint chain. I can show you a finished rig if you want to see, but it's just an FK joint chain. Um, it's nothing fancy. Um, okay, and that's that. Um, I colored the wrong controller. Of course it did. I, I would always, I would always color the wrong one. This one is supposed to be green, and this one is supposed to be red. There we go. Uh, just a drawing I made? Yeah, if you want to share it, go for it. Links are allowed, as long as it's TOS, of course. Um, and you can also share it in our Discord as well, if you prefer to share there. Uh, but he is not asking, no, no, I am asking, you can do whatever you like. Um, I'm going to have a look at that. Oh, wow. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll share it on, I can share it on stream in a minute too, but let me finish up the workshop stuff first. Um, okay, so eyes. Eyes are done, brows are done. And I was going to copy some of the weights from the eyebrow. Oh, oh I, got, I forgot to mirror the... Uh... Oh, what? Oh, it's like, why can't I move it? It's because it's, lo I, it's in a locked access. Um, so what I now need to do is I got to go in here and we got to go uh, F8. In fact, I can just copy the weights over from everything. Uh... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that in a new file. I'm gonna do that in a new file because I am paranoid. Um, we've been through that. I'm a very paranoid person, uh, and I 
do not like to risk breaking everything. Um, so I do want to mirror that over. All right, we're gonna hit vertex, and we'll mirror that over. So now the eyebrow should, oh, I also gotta mirror the uh, eyebrows. So, and now, aha, there we go. Wonderful. Um, now what I wanna do is I wanna go skin, unbind skin. And I want to make sure that this has influence from the eyebrow. Um, probably the center one too, actually, and the head. And maybe the cheek controls might need to be influencing as well. Uh, and then we go skin, fine skin, and then we go here and skin, copy skin weights. And this will probably need a little bit of like tweaking, um, but you know, it'll do. Um, there. I think that's important that it kind of follows along. Yeah. So you gotta like fix that little center area a little bit, blend it a bit better, but it does the trick. Um, similarly for this, skin, unbind skin. Um, unbind skin. You can probably add influence from, I'm a little bit skeptical about adding influence from these guys because this is going to make that thing move a lot. Um, but uh, you know, it might be worthwhile regardless. Uh, so we're going to take these guys and then we're going to go here and we're going to go on the head joint as well. Uh, skin, bind skin. And then we're going to copy the skin weights. Skin, uh, copy skin weights. And now that should move along. Yeah. That's also going to need a little bit of cleaning, I would say. And I think there's something weird going on because uh, it's influencing the opposite. Oh, oh no, no, that's right, because the, the center uh, influences that. Um, but I do want to adjust the center control because it's kind of hidden. I'm just going to take this guy and I'm just going to pull it out a little bit so that you can see it. And then we can control that. Yeah, that's why. It's because this control kind of controls the inner part of the eyebrow. I might change that so that it doesn't kind of influence it quite so much, but um, it's okay. And there you go. And we can hide the skeleton. Um, and I think everything is uh, under, yeah. She looks at the controller. Yeah. There we go, guys. We did it. All right, I hope you all like this adventure. I'm gonna end the, uh... oh right, I was gonna quickly show the, um, the Zelda model rig um, because you're asking about the tongue control. Give me one second. Let me just pull that up and then we'll close this up for the workshop stuff. Um, I have a render question later once the workshop is over. Sounds good. Uh, I can just ask in Discord, you can do that too, yeah. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna go into a, where is, where is the thing? Give it, give it its mind. Okay. Um, and now I should be able to share my screen again. Oh, I opened the wrong file. <laughs> Damn. I opened just the skeleton, not the, uh, not the rig. Of course. I'm a fool. A fool! There we go. So this is an example of um, a more uh, detailed rig that I have. Um, but if we want, if you want to like get into like the, the mouth controls, right? It's really not, it's not that much. So I obviously go in here and I can turn on the uh, face macro mouth interior controls. So if you want to add like some interior controls, it is it is literally just. Um, it's just a, uh, an FK chain. 
So this is, they're just parented right underneath, right? So you can just, you know, so that would be the tongue, right? Uh, it's just, it's just an FK chain. Um, I think I, I could probably show the joints too. Okay. Yeah. So basically it's a, it's just this, this joint chain that's just driven directly. It's just a direct parent constraint of these controls onto the joints. Um, so it's, it's nothing fancy. It's exactly the same way that we did the hair. Um, but you just do it on the tongue. Yeah. Um, the hair took the most time uh, right now on the model I'm working on. Hair takes a very, very long time. It takes ages. It's not uh, something that can be taken lightly. Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, so that's it. Um, that'll be it for the workshop stuff. Um, so next week, um, I'm going to clean up the skin weights a little bit more off screen, um, but uh, just, just slight little tweaks and stuff, um, just to make it feel a little bit cleaner. But uh, next week, we'll be getting into animation. We're going to make an idle and a walk animation. Um, and, then, um, uh, and then after that, we'll be throwing into Unity. Um, and we'll talk about uh, animation trees a little bit. Very, very minimal Unity stuff. We'll just make it so that you can move the character around. We'll switch from uh, idle to walk uh, or jog, depending on what we decide to do. But um, it'll be one of those. Um, and until then, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was informative. Um, yeah, sounds good, everyone. All right.